Finding success in life is a journey. Whatever road you're on, take the next step at Trinity Valley Community College. Whether you want to get new job skills, work toward a degree, or just take classes for fun, TVCC can design a plan just for you. As an Aspen Prize Top 150 U.S. Community College, TVCC in Athens, Kaufman, Palestine, and Terrell delivers a quality, affordable education, and financial aid is available. Visit us at tvcc.edu. Welcome to the Cardinal Sports Network's presentation of football at Trinity Valley Community College. We are coming to you live from Bruce Field in Athens, Texas, where tonight, folks, we have a dandy for you. It is an SWJCFC conference opener between your, the Trinity Valley Community College Cardinals and the Tyler Junior College Apaches. The Cardinals 2-0 and on the season, ranked number 5th nationally. Tyler, oh, by the way, is 1-1 one one on the season, ranked number 15th nationally. And this is the 99th meeting between the Ty Cardinals and the Apaches, with Tyler leading the overall series 52-46. to I'm Benny Rogers, and I'm joined tonight by... Joey Snowden and Marcus Dallas. I bring Joey and Marcus in. Guys, this is going to be an interesting game here tonight. I, I, without question, you got five versus 15. But you got the nation's number one offense coming in, TJC, mm. going against the nation's third best defense in the Cardinal defense. Something's got to give. Oh, yeah. yeah um, Some points. <laughs> <laughs> Some points. Or, or, one way, one way or, or other. Yeah. yeah, or maybe no points. I mean, it right. just depends on what team shows up tonight on which side, I guess. Right. You know, last week, uh, Georgia Military – uh, TJC traveled Georgia military and put up 677 points of total offense against Ooh. the previously ranked number 13 Georgia Military Academy. Uh, the Apaches finished that game with a win, 52-28, Benny and Marcus. And mm -hmm. uh, in that game, we'll see and we'll see tonight the quarterback Jaden Pete, who picked up an offer this week to go to Texas A&M Commerce okay. in the future. He connected on 25 of 33 passing attempts for 365 yards with five touchdown passes yeah, thrown in the air. had an amazing game. And then Tyler lost its opener in a non-conference affair with Kilgore, 49 to 35, and he put up big numbers in that game as well. And, wow. and it was a shootout, uh, another shootout. And, you know, I, I really wasn't expecting to put up that much numbers against Kilgore, who is also ranked very high in the polls right now, I believe number three. In the polls, Benny, am I correct? Oh, yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And, and I wasn't expecting him to do that against them, but he did. And, and this is a uh, high-octane offense the Apaches bring into Bruce Field tonight. But one thing we know about the Cardinals is they are going to play defense. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, Mark McMillan's going to have that squad ready to play. And if you look at their numbers on the season. My gosh, they're they're tied for the third-best defense in the nation. They've given up 35 points a game, which sounds like a lot, and it is. But in this day and time, that's really not a lot. Exactly. But they're only giving up 34 rushing yards and 123 passes. Passing yards per game. Woo. Yeah, Coach McMillan has done a spectacular job since coming to the Valley, being a defensive coordinator for the Cardinals. And I would assume he's going to pick up right where he left off the last game against uh, uh, Air Force Prep oh, Academy yeah. up in Colorado. And that was a, a good game also. Uh, two, two of the qu Cardinal quarterbacks, McDonald and uh, Trejo, picked up a, a pretty big win for the team last week for mm -hmm. Trinity Valley on the road up in Colorado. But, well, uh, well, one thing is safe to say, fellas, three weeks ago when we last did, we saw the Cardinals play against Snow College over at Malakoff at Tiger Stadium. It was 105 degrees when we arrived at the stadium. <laughs> yeah. It's about 25 degrees cooler tonight. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, and we, and we all wore shorts. I'm kind of cold right now. <laughs> it, 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 you know, it feels like fall. It feels like football weather. Yes, sir. Uh, the folks at home are in store for one heck of a ball game tonight, I think, and I believe. <laughs> Uh, if you did your research, uh, like I have on these two teams, and we follow Trinity Valley, of course, but in Tyler, man, it, it, this this could potentially be a very, very high-scoring affair tonight, guys. Well, they're bringing their air raid offense, which is the going thing in college football these days, over to Bruce Field tonight, and it's just going to be a matter of strength versus strength. The strength of the Cardinals is that defense. Well, the Dirty Bird is going to have to be real dirty tonight. But let's be very clear. This Cardinal team is capable of putting points on the board. Oh, yes, yeah. they are. Oh, yeah. Yes, they are. And sustaining a ground attack also uh, for the Cardinals. I, I believe that big offensive line is going to open up a lot of holes tonight for the Cardinal running backs, uh, Quincy Thomas and Clarence Dalton, yep. who both had a big game last week against Air Force Prep. 
Um, they'll come in tonight and they'll, and they'll set the pass up with the run tonight is, is what I'm thinking against Tyler. And they may want to control the ground early on to keep Tyler's offense off of the field. I thought one thing that's key for the Cardinal offense is last week out at the Air Force prep game in Colorado Springs, Colorado, Darian Peace, the starting quarterback, didn't play. Mm -hmm. But he gave, he gave Sherrod Petit an opportunity to play both Matthew Duncan and Diego Tello. Yeah. They split the time and both had success. Exactly. Yeah, and that's what you want in junior college football or at any level, you know, you know, Coach Poe giving those guys reps, you can go to practice all you want to, but until you get in game situations, right. you don't know what you have. And it's good. it was good for those guys to get in game situation last week and come up with a big win and the big numbers that they had on offense for the Cardinals. And they got to be good for Pote to be able to use three quarterbacks if he need them, and they all – And they all bring different things to the table. They all bring different things to the table. Yeah, and, and that's, that's quite amazing in itself. And – Tyler kind of does that also with Jaden Pete, and then uh, you've got the kid Thomas from um, from Kilgore. Not excuse me, not Kilgore, Longview. Uh, Josh Thomas, who saw action at quarterback last week and running back <laughs> for the Apaches, he rushed for 117 yards and a TD on the ground last week wow. uh, for the Apaches. So. They've got a little dual threat or two dual threats at quarterback themselves with the Apache for the Apaches, and I am very much looking for this TVCC defense to show up tonight, as you call them the Dirty yeah, Birds. Dirty Birds, and, <laughs> and Let's try get it. to limit that tonight. Let's go, Dirty Birds. Well, you look at the Cardinal defense, and like we mentioned, they're only giving up 157 yards a game, and that's in two wins in which the offense put over 35 points on the scoreboard on both on both wins. So, very important. I want to pause for a moment, as we could, if we could, as we're and welcome our our friends from Tyler that may be looking in tonight. We enjoy having you watching us on the Cardinal Sports Network, and we want to again acknowledge that we know you lost a very important member of your family about a month ago, and Athletic Director Kevin Vest, and I know there'll be a memorial service for him next Friday over at Wagstaff Gym, and just want to let you folks know we're still thinking about you. We thought a lot of Kevin. He was great for Region 14 for the Southwest Juniors College Football Conference, and and the the loss of Kevin is felt by wide and far farther than the TJC campus, I assure you. Yes, sir. Very classy guy. Yeah. But we're back to football here at Bruce Field. We're about, what, six minutes away from kickoff. The teams yep. haven't made their return to the field yet. The Cardinals faithful is being entertained by the Cardettes and the Cardinal Regiment. They've done a good job again. The Cardinal cheerleaders were out there earlier. You can see them out there forming the spirit line. We're, they're getting ready to bring the team onto the field, and we'll be underway here at Bruce Field, and we appreciate you joining us here on the Cardinal Sports Network for this is the very first time that the Cardinal Sports Network has produced a home football game. Oh, so this right. is a historic night as we enjoyed over in Malakoff three weeks ago, the first time the Cardinal Sports Network had produced a Cardinal football game. This is the first one at Bruce Field itself, and we appreciate you joining us. And we know there's a TV monitor hooked up to the to the mobile unit out downstairs, and folks can see and hear us and watch us as they go to the concession stand, which is a great uh, service provided by our full team. Oh well, if we get a Teltron up here, I'll feel like John Madden. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure you can count on that, though, but don't, don't challenge Miles Pennington to anything. He may get you a Telestrator. Uh, okay. <laughs> and guys, it's like we got a big crowd out here at, at, at the stadium. Uh, well, the, like it's filled to the capacity almost. Yeah, well, it's, it's filling up here on the home yeah. side for sure. Yeah. And there's a nice Tyler crowd across yes, the sir. way as well. Yes, it is. The old 31 rivalry. There we go. I was going to say that. The 31 think rivalry. About it. Think about it, fellas. This is the 99th meeting. Wow. 90, next year will be, a, or maybe even later this year if they make in the playoffs, right. would, would be the 100th meeting. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a long that's, yeah. history of football right there. And, and on this game last year was the springboard for the Cardinal season. They won 28-27. to 27. Tyler missed a field goal at the ver at this, as this time expired, and the Cardinals won, and it sprung forward them to a 7-0 and conference record and a conference championship. Yes, sir. Yeah, most definitely, and awesome. I really believe that the Cardinals tonight have the opportunity, Marcus and Benny, yeah. to make a statement, not only in the conference, but in the nation. Uh, Tyler coming in tonight on defense, allowing 38.5 points per game, wow. 179 on the ground, 260 in the air. So that's what they're giving up right now. Wow. So, you know, Tyler's defense against Trinity Valley's offense, I think I'll, I would take Trinity Valley's defense in this one, but – Man, that, that offense of, of Tyler, Tyler, number one yeah. in the NJCAA, 43.5 yeah. points a game. Yeah, that's uh, going to be big. So they can do it all. And, you know, the passing, it says it all, 342.5 per game. And any any team that get, picks up 677 yards in a game, you know their Ooh. offense is going to be high oh, yeah. octane. And this is a Tyler team that runs a 
up-tempo, quick offense as well. Absolutely. And, Joey, you do such a great job of doing this. Describe what the Cardinals are wearing tonight. It's a new look for the Cardinals. Yeah, the, yeah the Cardinals uh, have gray pants on tonight, and they have uh, blue, white, and red stripes down the side with their gray tops on and red numerals outlined in black and black helmets. This is a new look for the Cardinals, yes, and, and I really kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of a an old Miss look in a way, and – Maybe a little bit different colors. But, well, now, uh, I love the Cardinal script on the side, too, yeah, in, in the, the, in the school, school's of original font. Yeah, yeah. down the middle, too. Yeah, you're right. The original the helmet. font, Benny, and you brought that to light. And New helmets, right? Yeah, new helmets. Yeah. Brand new helmets. So yeah. the Cardinals have many uniforms, and I, I like this uniform. Now, the numbers may be a little hard to read <laughs> at times for us, but, uh, hey, we'll make it through this broadcast. And, folks, we're sure you that's more a sign of age than it is by design. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the uh, big faces out there in the crowd, man. They got the big faces out here today. Y'all, the, I don't know what they call them. What they call them? Big heads. <laughs> the big heads. Yeah, big heads. Are you referring to the people in the stands having big heads? Yeah, people in the stands got to be here. And the football oh, well, players too. Well, what Marcus is talking about is they've got giant heads <laughs> uh, made of cardboard and holding them up in the air, waving them around. So, yeah, I got kind of excited. Yeah, I, I'm glad some of the some of the fans may have big heads, but uh, <laughs> that's not the case right now. Right. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad you clarified. Yeah, that, thank you, Joey. I appreciate well, that. I, I, that's why I'm the play by Sometimes I forget I'm just not, I'm not up here sometimes. I'm so well, comfortable with you guys. We're about to have the coin toss, and I would imagine that whoever wins the toss, is, I say this now, and I can't say this in all 100% of the certainty because I don't know TJC's thinking on the situation, mm -hmm. but do you think TJC may want to get their hands on the ball first with that offense and show that they can move the ball against the Cardinals? I, I would think so. Be, yeah. and we just talked about the, the TJC defense giving up a lot of yards to opposing offenses, so you, you probably want to put your offense on right. the field if first. If you're TJC, you want to say, okay, you, you're going to have to score not to beat us. You may beat us, exactly. but, but you're going to have to score you're to, have to beat to us. Score. And well, I tell you, everybody, bring your, go ahead and get your popcorn and your drinks and everything because this is going to be a bad game. Really. Whereas it'll be interesting, as you guys pointed out two years ago, the Cardinals won every coin toss that season mm -hmm. and deferred every every, yeah, deferred time. every time. And right. that's what Poe likes to do, and I would think he would stick with that and show his, that his mm -hmm. defense have a way to send a statement too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I would exactly think the same way and do the same thing, but so, you never know what's on Poe's mind. Going to be interesting. Until he gets on one of the officials, <laughs> he can clearly see what's on his mind. That, that's always fun. Yeah. Well, Benny, they had the they had the uh, softball, I guess, game last night. Uh, uh, home run derby. Home run derby. Did you participate? No, I did not. Okay, my home uh, run days. My, my home run yeah. days were ended when I started playing Rebel softball back in the day. <laughs> but no, I'm not swinging a bat. I ain't swinging a golf club much anymore. There's the coin toss. Yeah, they're looking at Trinity Valley. Let's see. Cardinals have deferred. Look. Just like we suspected. Right like you said, yep. Yeah, just yep. like you said. Yeah. Looks like TJC will have its hands on the ball first. Folks, we have said a lot of we said spend a lot of time setting this game up for you. Really you need to say no more than it's Tyler and his Trinity Valley. That's all you need to say. And with the play by play, here's Joey Snowden. All right, folks. Thank you, Benny. And uh, yes. we're about to get underway here. Uh, as Benny said, Trinity Valley has won the toss, deferred to the second half, and Coach Mark McMillan will put his defense on the far field first for the Trinity Valley Cardinals. That's the and uh, we will see where the rubber beats the road, so to speak, <laughs> coming up on this kickoff. Put you both on the spot. How many points does it take to win this game tonight? I, I, I'm going to say over 40. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely. Okay. I, I'm going to say over 40. Okay. That, that's, that's my initial thought. So, but so I we'll, do we'll, trust we'll, the defense of Trinity Valley. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I think 37 for sure. You, you probably had to have 37, so I, I'm right yeah. there with you. Yeah, and, and you know, it's going to be Valley high could score 40 and TJC could score 28. I don't know. <laughs> We're, we're, we're going to see how this goes. Tra translated, folks, it means it's going to be a 7-6 ball game. <laughs> That's probably what it will be. Every time I say that, it's always a close game and a low-scoring game, which, hey, I like that too. Yes, sir. There's a place in football still for that kind of football. It is, and I, and I actually am a fan of it. I like those old slobber knocker games sometimes. It's not, a fu it's not fun in blowouts. And well, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's get it underway. Let's get yes, it going, sir. Baby. Pedro Altamirano will tee it off for the Cardinals. Back deep for TJC will be Arabia Bedford. And also, let me get a number on that young man. It'll be number eight, Isaiah Ike Lee. We'll call him Ike Lee. Oh, oh call him Ike. Be called Ike. Yeah, no, a name no, like that, no he's going to be a football player. Oh, yeah, yeah, he'll hit him. <laughs> <laughs> and the catch is made for the from the kickoff at the one yard line, and he's met around the twenty yard line, stacked up for a big loss, or great. not a loss, but a great defensive play on special. Yeah, teams. great coverage by the Cardinal special teams there. Yes, 
It's uh, nice to see the special teams make a play like that on the opening kickoff, a 19-yard return on that kick by Bradford for TJC, and we'll see the quarterback for uh, TJC coming on the field. Excuse me, folks. I think that was Sterling Gatlin, number 37, that made the initial contact for the Cardinals on the kick coverage. Yeah, but Davion Scott brought him down at the end. So Jaden Pete will be the quarterback. He's 6'2 out of Houston, Texas. He is a sophomore. I'll have two backs in the backfield and one receiver on each side of the field. And they're going to start with a handoff. It goes nowhere. No, sir. And a nice play made there. Oh, no question. That's McCoy Casey. Yeah, yeah McCoy Casey, Casey with that one. And that's what you do. The Cardinals put them put them behind the chains on the very first down. Let's man. do it. Kind of interesting. They, they're setting up the pass with a run first, and then they lose pretty much five yards on that run. So now they've got some ground to make up here. Most definitely. It'll be second down and 15 yards to go for TJC. Now going with a four wide receiver set, and they're going to hand the ball off again. Nothing doing. Nothing doing there. It's a very interesting start for TJC's offensively. That'll be uh, Reed Pullen on a tackle. Young man transferred in from Virginia Tech. All right. 6'3", 250 pounds. He's a sophomore. He's had a st strong start to the season thus far. Third and 14 for the card of uh, Patches. And a low snap there. Pete gets Boom. it off pressure from behind, and he is going to be dropped uh -oh. and a fumble on the play. The Cardinals recover, and that is a touchdown by the Cardinals. And guess so, who that is, That'll Marcus. be Joe sniffing, and he sniffed that ball out. Joe. He sniffed what a it touchdown. Out. What a big play Ooh right off the bat. A the ten, Cardinal A defense. ten yard fumble return. Ten yard fumble return right there, baby. Woo. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Ty Powers will come on to attempt the point after for the Cardinals with 13.55 remaining in the first quarter. Cardinals strike first here. So TJC comes in tonight saying, hey, we got the air raid offense, and Trinity Valley said, we got the dirty birds. That's right. <laughs> we're, we're covering the air. We very dirty. Cardinals are short of man out there right now. Yeah. You can, you can, and uh, oh. we'll get That's the – Trying to line up here on the extra point, and they're going to have to yeah, take a delay of game here. and um, Kind of got a deja vu from last year. Yeah. Yeah. 13 minutes, 55 seconds left in this game. I tell you, Talk we had, had an upset fan down there. Yeah, sure was. Fan was upset. Cardinals on the board first. Kind of kind of stunned us, too. So we're Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is still a chip shot for Ty Powers. No question. Ty Powers, Mr. Automatic this year, and. There's the kick. It's up. Plenty of leg, and it is good. And the Cardinals take a 7-0 lead right off the bat. Perfectly so. scripted start for the Cardinals. <laughs> yes, sir. Perfectly. And, and, and you got to love that because the Cardinals win the coin flip right there, defer to the second half, choose to go on defense and get six the, points. And, and I think Marvin Miller scripted his defense right there. They're, we're going to be aggressive. Close we're now. coming after exactly. you. Exactly. You, you may beat us, but we're not because we didn't come after you. And, and surprised go. that uh, the TJC offense comes out on the ground you know, two plays in a row and then have to be forced in a third and long. And, of course, the sack is made, and there's a replay the folks at home can see. And yeah, Joe Stephan picks that ball up. and That man. sack was by Cordell Pat. Yeah, Cordell Pat. Yeah, with Right the sack. on time. Yes, sir. And I, that looked bad from the beginning because Cordell Pat was coming around that right end, and, and I knew that was about to be trouble. They, right. Great job by our talented folks on the cameras too, folks, yes, sir. bringing those replays and picking up those key plays like that. We appreciate those guys a lot. Yes, sir. Yeah, it, just not used to it yet, but we'll get used to yeah. that replay system. <laughs> I love I'll it. Tell you. Pedro Altamirano will tee off for the Cardinals once again. Wow, do. what a start. What, what a, a start. And it's good that you say the defense – Made the point, so we, we love it. Yeah, you put them out on the field first, and, and they respond. Some dirty birds. This is a fake reverse on the kick return. Tyler – oh, there's oh. a face mask on the oh. play. He pulls his head off. Oh, it's a mauling. I mean, it's a mauling. Off it's a mauling. Woo. Woo. I guess if you're going to face mask, make yeah, it count. Yeah, might well you know. Yeah, Bradford uh, <laughs> <laughs> may be a little shook after that one. I know that that neck uh, went around severely to the right end of the left. Yeah, he about – Three flags out there, though. They see them. Well, that'll move the football out near about the 35, 36-yard line for TJC and give them great field position to start down 7-0 with 13-47 left here in the uh, 
opening quarter. Yeah. yeah, and you hate to see that on that special teams play right there because you really have them pinned yeah. back, and now they're going to get 15 yards in a first down and good field position to boot. It, op it opens up the playbook for TJC as well. They it does. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised they open up here with a deep pass on first down. Wouldn't shock me either. Yeah, they see the two runs then work successfully, so yeah, let's go to the air. So Pete coming back out at quarterback. And Ike Lee will be in the backfield for the Apaches. They're going to run with three receivers, two to the far side, one to the near side. See how aggressive the Cardinal defense stays. They were very aggressive those first three plays of the Tyler's initial series. Yes, they were, and that was a big aggressive series, if you will. <laughs> I will. Trying to find out what game ball they want in the field. They love and say, yeah, yeah they, come on now, let's bring them balls out well, Maybe there. it's the one with air in it. They let, the, <laughs> they, let the, they let the number five, the receiver, pick the ball. Yeah, so. yeah. Like, yeah I want this Hopefully ball. Hopefully it ain't one of those Tom Brady balls. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, Pete, the quarterback for TJC. They saw Cardinal blitz showing already. sign of blitz. They're going to run it again. And oh a nice my. run developing there for the Apaches. Yeah, great play call by TJC. They caught the Cardinals over pursuing just a little bit and yeah. hit, the, hit the hole and found him. Marcus, you've run that play many times yourself. Yes, sir. Big nine or ten yard pickup right there real quick. Easy. Yeah, Ike Lee with the first down for the Apaches on a nice run set up beautifully by that offensive line too. So, so it looks like TJC came up with the intent blitz of blitz running on first down. I and mean, we've seen it twice now. I mean, that's not, that doesn't make a pattern or anything. Yeah, right? and they're going to run again on first down. Down. And this time they're going to get uh, stuffed at the line. Sniffing on the tackle. Sniffing, sniffed them out again. Well, Joe Sniffing, boy, I tell you what, he Ooh is in there playing some ball right now. Yeah, he mean. He's 80 but number 21, Sean Connor. And to a holla, and then a yay was standing over the top if he didn't get it. <laughs> yay, yay. <laughs> Second and nine for the Apaches. Pete back to pass, passing over Ooh. the middle, incomplete, and in and out of the hands of Grant. Perrette. Yeah, he, was, he was open, dragging yeah. across the middle. But I tell you, it was a good play. It was a good execution play, but he just he couldn't hold the ball. Well, like Marcus usually says, sometimes he hit him in the wrong place, that's, and that's probably the hand. That's right, right in the hand. <laughs> Third nine, can the Cardinal defense get the ball right back to the offense? Well, the offense hasn't been on the field yet. What yeah, am I talking well, about? Yeah, the offense <laughs> right. ain't been on the field. Uh, the defense has. Uh, they're going to go trips to the right. One wide receiver down low. Ooh. That's going to be a oh. false start on number 80. Yes, sir. That's the second play in a row. Perrette's is – Trying to shake out the cogwebs here. Third and nine goes to third and 15, uh, 14. Well, just like a while ago, and you got to wonder if, if Coach Mark McMillan's defense is going to send pressure right here. Oh, I think so. Oh, yeah, most yeah, sure. You got to so. work out for the draw, too. Draw play or the, or the pass. Well, not too many third and 14 plays in your playbook. It's just not scripted that way. Right. Ike Lee in the backfield. Keep wanting to say Spike Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Spike Lee. That's Ike. Uh, Ike probably Turner. say Spike Lee before the night's over. So it's Don't say me. Ike Turner. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. And this is going to be Ooh. a handoff, a nice handoff and run. So they're going to pick up around nine yards. So we'll call it ten. I think you play field position here and kick the Cardinal offense back deep, put pin them deep. I don't think he picked up enough on the – well, I say that, and they're not bringing yeah, the punch team out there. It's going to be fourth and six here at TJC. Wow. They like their offense oh, that they much, gonna, they're going to go for they're it. They're going to go for it. I'll tell you what, that will turn the – if they don't make Ooh, it, wee. Cardinals a good have field. a good field position. Yes, sir. Giving a lot of cushion out there on the slot receiver. Like coach trying to draw him offside. Yeah. That's still not enough. I yards. still would play field position if it were me. Yeah, because yeah, if you draw him offside, it's still yeah, going to be fourth and yards. one. Right. But yeah. they haven't phoned up here and asked me what I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> they probably won't either. <laughs> Pete back to pass. Looks right. He's going to roll to his right. Got him. And he is going to be sacked for a huge loss and another great defensive play. Joe Sniffin. Woo, Mr. Sniffin Excuse is on me, that is not Joe Sniffin. That is Tua Hala. Nay, nay, yay. Yay, yay. On that tackle. What and a job by the Cardinal defense. They've woo. scored a touchdown, and now they've given the offense in <sighs> plus field position. Well, I, I tell you what, somebody's done a great job at scouting TJC. And, yes, and we said it before, Coach Pose. The offensive, or excuse me, defensive coordinator Mark McMillan doing a super job so far. Now, if you're Poe, do you take a shot here? You got to take would. a shot. You got to uh, take the shot. Why not? I would go for you it. You right got to take the shot right here. But again, I don't think they're going to call us up here and ask <laughs> no. us. But I think he's ready to see peace. See what he's going to do. They're in peace to start quarterback on the field for the first time tonight for the Cardinals. Threw yeah. for 350 yards in the upset win over Snow in the season opener over in Malakoff. Yes, sir. Great game. Quincy Thompson in the backfield. 
And there he rolls out left, Ooh. fires one deep, has a man. It's caught. <laughs> Touchdown, Cardinals. Goodness gracious. And we called it from the booth. Got him. <laughs> oh, my Oh, but lands. we got some dirty laundry, y'all. We got some dirty laundry. Oh, let's see what it's Goodness about. Goodness gracious. Rayshon Glover, and that may come back. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, peace and and as a receiver and downfield. Oh, my. Oh, oh, my. The big guy just can't do that. Oh. Oh, man. I think he ran a 10 and out that time. <laughs> <laughs> Great oh. play. We called it. Hey, but hey. Uh. Well, hey, let's do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> let's do it again. Go for the same thing. Well designed play right there oh, as well. Oh, absolutely. It wow. Was. That would have been a game changer there. I'm, I'm telling you. Well, you want to see if you get two scores on these guys, you're not, you're not, you don't have, you're not home free, but you, you feel a lot easier. You got some exactly. margin for error. So the way your defense is playing right now, you got to be feeling really good about it. Ooh wee. Okay, see what the offense has got. They got to bounce back. So, Cardinals will have two wide receivers near side of the field, one on the far side of the field. It's going to be a handoff to Quincy Thompson and Thompson. Steam rolls his head, uh, steam rolls his way ahead for a gain of five. Well, he gets back to penalty yardage, so it's back to a second ten now. Yeah, Quincy last week with 20 carries and 122 yards with one touchdown. That boy's a runner. I call him low to the flow, George. Charlie Gardner also had a big game for the uh, Trinity Valley Cardinals as well. Pass downfield, caught and complete. Yes, sir. And a nice catch right there. What a great job, Darion P. of studying his studying his options and found the the, the, open, man. Yes, o, the open man on the down the middle of the field. That yes, was Sweeting on that reception, number 85. Brought down by Zion Funa. A big first down, two guys right there for yes, the sir. Cardinals. 11:04 left to play in the first. 7-0 Cardinals. There's the handoff, and there goes Thompson like a battering ram. Down to the 11-yard line. Well, Quincy's feeling it tonight. Tackle yes, made by Sam, uh, excuse me, Sam Fungang. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Fungang. Second down. We'll call it two from the booth. Thompson again to the left side. And Thompson close to first down yardage, guys. And I believe he's got it. Great job of running by Quincy. Brought down by some. Nice job of those guys up front, too, of shielding that – Shilling that open lane for oh, yeah. him. Yeah, they yeah. just they just turned their bodies to the right and gave them that lane to the left. That was a great job. Yes, sir. Peace again. with a handoff. Thompson again. Oh. This time Thompson is sacked up for a loss. Got him in the backfield that time. Yeah, that was uh, Eldrick Griffin and Fonua yeah. on the tackle. Yeah, Mr. Zion, linebacker. Second down and 12 up and coming for the Cardinals. <clears throat> Trinity Valley just they look good off the bat. Yeah, they do. They can hit them with a short pass right here. Look, playing with a lot of confidence, both sides of the ball so far. Yeah. Trinity Valley has two receivers left, one in motion. And that's going to be a pass, but hit from Ooh. behind. That just took too long to develop right yeah. there and allow the TJC defense, Eric Eldrick Griffin, to come in from the blind side yeah. of Darian Pease for the sack. 6 2 sophomore out of Pensacola, Florida. Yes, sir. Brings up a big third down for the Cardinals near here. But you do have Ty Powers in the your back pocket for a field goal. Exactly. exactly. So yeah. three points better than none. We'd like to see six or seven put up. Peace. Looks downfield, throws right, has a man, and it's picked off. Oh, oh my goodness. Ugh. Bad decision there by Darion. Yeah. Yeah, he threw that inside of the receiver. If he threw that on the outside saw, shoulder right there, he had a chance. I'm, I'm going to give TJC some credit here. As I was watching the play unfold, there wasn't – I didn't see anybody open. No. Truly the, open the, anyway. The secondary, they're playing a, a zone coverage there, and the secondary did a great job of draping over everybody. What a great answer by the TJC defense, though. Here we go. They looked like they were down 14-0. It, yeah, it would have been. Yeah, except for the big mistake there by the offensive lineman. So, 7-0. Trinity Valley on top. TJC will now get the ball. Tavon Card with the interception. And I tell you, this is turning out to be a pretty fast-paced game. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. And there you see you threw it yeah. the inside yeah. on your, yeah. your the, instant if, replay. If the defense is going to continue to play at this pace, we may be way too high on our points, points too. <laughs> well, we, we could way be. Too, I, I, have right. a, I have a suspicion that we might not be. I know. I, yeah. just, but you're right. You never can tell. That's why I don't, anyone doesn't ask our opinions too much about it. <laughs> All right, Pete, the quarterback. Another handoff here, and this time different running back in the game will be Logan Johnson from Texarkana, Texas. 
5'10 sophomore. So Johnson with a nice gainer there across the 25. Or they're going to mark him down to 25. So it'll be second down and six to go, it looks like. Five and a half, maybe. Nice home crowd in attendance tonight. Oh, yeah, it's packed. TJC brought a nice following as well. All right, Pete looks the defensive line over. And Pete's going to hand the ball off. Not much doing there against that Cardinal defense there, Marcus. No, Logan Johnson again on the carry. Joe Sniffin with the tackle again. Yeah, and an assist from McCoy Casey. Yes, sir, from Mr. Casey. Sniffin and McCoy Casey last week all recording double digits and tackles against Air Force Prep, 10 apiece. <laughs> they had about four or five guys with 10 apiece last <laughs> yeah, week. They did. So third down. Very manageable four. Pete scrambles to his right, has a receiver wide open. Nothing. A penalty marker comes flying in. Be interesting what this call is, of course, situated at too. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe it's going to go against TJC. And he came from the back, Judge, and I think his assignment is to watch the tight end. So yeah. there may be a hold on the tight end, possibly. We'll see what happens here as the officials get together. Got, oh, yeah, oh. got sniffing with uh, 17 tackles last week. He's down to 21. Offensive pass interference. Yeah, so they're offensive pass interference. That's Ooh. a big blow right there to the TJC offense. Man. Take him back. Take him back. That's 15 yards. And you were right. He was watching that tight end. It was the tight end who, who gave the pass interference to Trinity Valley. The late, great Mike Peak, rest his soul, who we lost here a year ago for the college, a long-time official for about 40 years in the high school association and refereed some NFL games, actually. One time I asked him, what's the back judge calling that play, calling from that far down the field? He said, his responsibility is the tight end. So that has stuck with me. Oh, All yep. those years ago when okay. I was a sports writer, Mike Peak taught me that. So he just focused on them tight ends. And just like the umpire, okay. if he throws a flag, usually it's going to be holding. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <Yeah. back. laughs> usually, not 100% of the time, but usually. Can't let them out of this hole, Cardinals. Yeah, they help the Cardinals out real good with that. Yes, yeah, third down and forever. Pete looks right, throws right. Got Pass is caught and completed and has a first down. Man, what a pickup by TJC. Yeah. Goodness gracious. That was Trey Taylor. Had a big game last week for TJC. Wow. Came back and got that ball. Man. Taylor has caught that's caught 12 passes now for over 260 yards on the season. He's got five touchdowns. Yeah, six catches last week for 157 and three TDs. Pete back to pass. Floats one to the left. Incomplete, great coverage there by the Cardinals. Yes, sir. Corey Kelly. The Corey Kelly with the coverage for your Cardinals there. Doing a good job. And, man, you just got to feel, feel for the Trinity yeah. Valley defense there. They had them back yeah, third and long. Good, yeah. But you see the Apaches are playing, offense is playing a little more confidence. Yes, now. It, yeah. it's growing. You can yeah, see it. Yeah. They're feeling themselves right now. Starting to go to the air a little bit more as well. Second down and 10, and this will be another handoff. I believe that's Johnson on the carry. There's a late flag coming in from the side judge. Oh, boy. Brought down by Jonathan Pierce. We'll see what this call is here by the side judge. Flag thrown at the 47, so. Personal foul face mask against the Cardinals. And, oh. Yeah. Oh, we don't need that. Can't go into this pattern again. We saw this against Snow over in Malakoff that night where they gave up some first downs on right. penalties. Yeah, a good game to, for example, is Purdue and Syracuse today. I mean, they, they almost win the game, but two unsportsmanlike conduct penalties against Purdue killed the game, and just you can't make those type of mistakes there if you're a Purdue fan. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Pete's pass oh. over the middle, caught and complete. First down yardage gained, a game of 11. And uh, that'll be number 80, Grant Peretz. Tackle by Hampton. That was a nice tackle, but he had way too much cushion. He ran exactly. the inside slant, and he was wide open. Yeah. But you could just see TJC's offense, the confidence just continuing to swell. 
Another handoff to Johnson, and Johnson is stuffed after a one-yard gain. And that's the thing about these air raid offenses. They're about that rhythm, get them in, getting in rhythm, get them in sync, and, man, they can go then. Yeah, you don't want to get them in too much rhythm either, that's for sure. Joriel Washington on that tackle for the Cardinals. They're moving that ball slowly but slowly. Going to be second down and nine to go for the Apache. 6.53 and rolling here in the first quarter. 7-0 Cardinals up. Pete back to pass. Surveys the field. He's going to roll right. Now he's under duress. Throws downfield. And what a oh. great comeback that was. Oh, he fumbled the football. Ooh, I believe it. the Cardinals pounced on it. No, they didn't, they didn't, no, get, they it. didn't. They didn't get it. No, but you got to credit Pete. My goodness, he did a good job of keeping his eyes down the field the entire time, exploring all his options, and he found his man uncovering, and he hit him. Yep. It was a fumble, but TJC does fall on it. Yeah, Trey Taylor runs a nice route. He sees his quarterback in trouble, then comes back for the reception, and uh, Pete just uh, showing his skill level right now. Well, a really nice drive TJC has going here. Oh, yeah. Fun game with the recovery. First, first down hit 10 for the Apaches. Two backs in the backfield, and Pete's going to call his own number, and he's upended at the 24. Washington on the tackle there, also 25 for the Cardinals. Rayshon, excuse me, that was not Rayshon Glover. Let the countdown begin. So second down and eight for the Apaches. Pete throws it to the outside and it's caught and completed, stacked up by two Cardinal defenders. Not before the receiver gets to the 20 yard line. And that was Gabe Adams. Devin nervous with the tackle. Devin had a very nice game that night against uh, Snow over in Malakoff. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah. Made a few, quite a few plays. So third down and four for the Apaches and the defense for Trinity Valley stop the Apaches from getting this first down. That would be a big, big time play or deal for the uh, Trinity Valley defense here to get a stop on third down, guys. Pete back to pass, going to throw it out in the flats, oh, caught it complete. It's going to be a first down inside the five-yard line. Yeah, the Cardinal defender had read the play perfectly. He just missed the tackle. He over he over pursued it. And that was Ike Lee. Now the up-tempo offense coming. Jason Hampton with that tackle. Ike Lee will still be in the backfield on the left side, left side of Pete. Again, they're going to give it to Ike Lee and Lee down to about the two. Would be a great spot here for the Cardinal defense to bow its neck and force a field goal, but a boy, they're just asking a lot against this kind of offense. Yeah, Lamont Henry stopped Lee that time on the play. That's the second. What do I answer this would be for TJC when they look like they've given up a touchdown to go down 14 0, got, got a benefit of a penalty. Right, Good. Uh, right back, yeah. Intercepted in the end zone and turned it into a touchdown. Man, that's just, that's just a big turnaround. Back to pass is Pete. Finds a man Ooh. wide Oh, open, man, what a play. It. Goodness gracious. Oh, it was tipped away. That's that, good defense. Yeah, it was tipped away. That it ball. was the last minute. Yeah. Cody Brown, the intended receiver. Hampton, Hampton. With, the, yeah. with the tip. Yep. Kind Dayton, of a bang, Dayton, bang play right there. And <coughs> great defense by the Cardinals once again. Yes, sir. Be a very big win for the Cardinal defense. Just give up a field goal here. Ike Lee in the backfield. Pete, the quarterback. Pete looks, throws left corner, and that ball is incomplete. It looks like it's going to be incomplete. There we go. So we're going to look at that play again, but that was close. Nice coverage right there by the Cardinal secondary. Yeah, Trey Raleigh. Yeah, it's just a. A nice touch on that pass right there. Here's the replay. TJC's oh, yeah. going for it. Yeah, they're going for it. Look like they're going to go for it. Yes, they are. It's going to be a big stop here. Everybody saw at home Cody Brown trap that ball on the ground. Dirty birds. And now Pete's going to 
Well, he's going to attempt to run. It's a false start. False start. And now you would imagine the field goal unit Got to. On. Got to. This is a win for the Cardinal defense it right is. here. A very big win with 337 left to go in the first quarter. Oh, yeah. Coach Cardinals Lee. up 7-0. And don't get crazy and ignore the fake here either. So you, you never know what somebody uh, in a rivalry game when somebody may try to throw that on top exactly of you. That's exactly right. You would think you'd rather have your offense on the field if you're right. going to try to score a touchdown. But sometimes you can uh, switch them up. Remember what Buddy Ryan did at the Cowboys? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Baxter to attempt the point after. That kick is up. Oh, excuse me, that's a field goal attempt, and that field goal is good. Excuse me, folks. TJC on the board with three points. 24-yard field goal for Baxter. But still, if you're the Cardinal defense, you got to feel pretty good about that. Oh, you got to feel great right now about that. You uh, hold them to only three points right there. And man, what a what a play by the defense a while ago to man. be it on that uh, attempted pass completion from Pete to Cody Brown, but Brown just couldn't come down with it as we saw in our instant replay. As we as we get back to how that drive started though, with the interception in the end zone, that's three times now this year the Cardinals have been intercepted in either the end zone or deep in the red zone. Mm. on the season. Those are the conversations you can't make as you get further and further into the season. Exactly. You're lucky you got away with it against the number four team in the nation, Snow, <laughs> and you got another number 15 team on your home field tonight that you, you want to try to get away with it, but you can't keep living like that. Yeah, you can't be a riverboat gambler all the time. That's for sure. <laughs> It'll come back to bite you. To you. So you get to see the Cardinal return team for the first time tonight. Looks like Ray Sean. Mumphrey in the backfield. Speech right of Alto, Texas. We saw him in the snow rip one down the sidelines. Okay. I'm a drinker also back deep. Very steady running back for the Cardinals last year and again this year. Baxter will tee it off for the Apaches. 334 left in the first. Cardinals up 7-3 after a 24-yard field goal by Baxter. Don't go to sleep. And this is going to be a short Somebody get on kick. It. It's going to be in trouble. But I believe the Cardinals do get on that football. You can't let a kickoff hit the ground. Oh, my. Yeah, that oh, was, Nelly. That was kind of scary. <laughs> oh, oh. Who, who made scary. the heads-up play there? Or the final that made was the, Isaiah Crosby. Yeah. They made the smart play finally anyway, yeah. And he just dove on the ball But good, good field position for the Cardinals, though. Right. But, man, you can't let a kickoff hit the ground. And Jeez. I'm not sure if that was designed or he just oh, muffed I, it I on think, the kick. I think it was designed. I, 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 I sense something was up just oh, by yeah. the way they had lined yeah, up. Yeah, lined up close to it. Yep, yep. Well, my spotty senses are off right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> We've got right. a new running back in for the Cardinals. I think that's Clarence Dalton is checking for the game, number zero. It is Dalton, and Dalton gets the carry. Dalton reverses his oh field. And oh, oh. oh, sorry. I told you phrase there, Marcus. Yeah, yeah you got to get it. Hey. I saw the play open up on the outside. First down run by Dalton. That was a nice run, too. He was a young man going into the season last year. was the number one running back, but blew out a knee early in training camp and didn't make the season. And it takes about a year to get over that type of injury, too. And Dalton again with the carry. Dalton doing his thing. Cardinals have a stable of running backs they can throw at you. Yeah, they do, and, and you got to like that, too, if you're a coach, to have a stable of running backs. Jeez. It's like having a stable of quarterbacks as well. Oh, man. Well, if you got, well let's say if you got two quarterbacks, you got one quarterback. You don't have any quarterbacks. <laughs> <laughs> back to pass. Peace. And Peace tries to work back to the original line of scrimmage. He's going to lose two, though. Yeah, down by I think it was Griffin. an RPO there, wasn't it? Not, and he yeah. should've, probably should have handed the ball off. Yeah, it was an RPO play right there, and he just should have gave the ball to Dalton there. Elder Griffin with the sack. You don't want to put your defense right back on the field, so offense, you got to do something, whatever you can, to get this 10 yards and give the defense a, a little bit of a rest. Exactly. So third down and 10. Peace back to pass. Steps up, rolling right, throws right, goes right into pressure. Well, he, he, was, he was hit as he hit through the ball, but number yeah. 45 knocked him down. Wow. Yeah, pressure being applied by I don't know. Tonga Ziggy. Loa Hay from TJC. Kind of went right into La Hay. And Perfect storm for TJC, though. You yeah. scored three points to get the ball back at a three and out. Yeah. Yep. Your, your offense had the Cardinal defense back on his heels somewhat during that entire drive. And probably a tired defense right now. They just a little bit, yeah. Of course, they do have some depth that they can sub people in and out and give them the ball. Good. Trey Taylor back deep to receive this punt. 
two minutes left into the first quarter, seven to three. James Allen averaging 49 yards a kick this year. Yeah, he's a thunder from down under. I tell you, now the uh -oh. play clock runs out. Delay a game now. The Cardinals is being called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Yeah, delay a game. And well, maybe Allen wants more room to kick. <laughs> well, he, yeah, he might <laughs> with that big foot of his. That's for sure. <laughs> James Allen, six foot three, 190 pound sophomore from Australia. Longest punt was 59, y'all. Averaging 48.7. I said 49. That is right at 49. There's a end over end kick. Filled it at the 17. And coming to the left. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Nice return being set up. Uh oh. And oh my. Ooh. What a return right now oh, by wow. Trey Taylor. Penalty marker comes down. That's going to come back. Whew. And Taylor, Trey, yeah, he almost Taylor. lost a football again there. He did some second bacon there. But that run's going to come back. That was a fine return by TJC. Well, he definitely broke some ankles. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> he fielded about the 17 yard line and returned it all the way down to the Cardinal inside the Cardinal 20. But like Jay, uh, Joey said, the ball is going to come back due to a infraction against the uh, Apaches. Uh, he ran about 140 <laughs> yards. <laughs> yeah, I'll like. tell you, hey, boy good with his feet. Kick, filled it at the seven. We were talking earlier about Here we go, watching Here we go. tennis, and there's the call for holding. Yep, I see the hold. There's two infractions on the play. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Joy, he broke a bunch of ankles. So the penalty will be against the – Apaches, I'm not sure. I've never seen the two fists come together like that before. Yeah, that caught me off, off guard, too. Be rounding. Remember the old, old NFL official who said he was, he's in on the ground giving him the business? Yeah. <laughs> That's probably what that is. He's somebody gave yeah. somebody the business. I think somebody yeah. gave somebody the business yes, on that yes, one, yes, too. Sir. Yeah, give him the business. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that call at all, and I thought I knew all of them until tonight. <laughs> His and mom. maybe he was saying, hey, he gave him the business. So. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, first down and 10 for TJC at their own 29-yard line. Pete looked like he was trying to, and he did, option it off to the right to Ike Lee. Yeah, he, oh, I think you have oh. a face mask probably. Oh, no. A lot of flags already being thrown here in this one, and you would expect it being a little chippy with a – Yep, it's a face mask. Highway 31 rivalry, and it is a face mask, Benny, you're correct. And that was sniffing with the tackle, I think, with the face mask as well. Carter's little penalties are just starting to add up now. Keeping drives alive for TJC, although that was a first down play, I realize that, folks, but it does extend the drive 15 yards down the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was the old personal foul face mask call, which is 15. Ian Burton is five, so that's a big, big call right there against the yeah. Trinity Valley defense. Good stop, but. Yeah, it was a well-read defensive play for the Cardinals. So you don't see the option that much anymore, the true option like that. Right. That wasn't a very good option. <laughs> it was dangerous. He picked the wrong option. Yeah. So first and 10 for the Apaches. Johnson in it running back, and he's going to be crammed for guess no game. Guess who sniffed that one out? I would think it would be sniffing since the way you set it up. That's what he did. Hmm. That was the man. I tell you what, TJC is, is is determined to run the ball on first down, though. Exactly. I mean, every every time. Surprisingly, they have, and I, I didn't really expect that. But but it's going to be a trick. It. It's going to be a trick to it out of the way. Oh, they'll be a play action off of it or something. Yeah, yeah they're, they're setting up the, the pass. Dayron Butler in the backfield now for the Apaches. Pete rolls left, throws downfield. The pass <laughs> is caught and completed. Well, Pete does this a great job of sprinting out and squaring up his shoulders and making that perfect throw to his receiver. Yeah, yeah. He does, and that was Bradford on the catch. Chase Canada won quite close enough. Chase's brother Ch Channing Canada had a hundred yard, what about a hundred yard kickoff return last year that turned the game for the Cardinals. Uh, yes, he did, and I remember that one. Pass over the middle, a tough catch in traffic, but he made it. And Boy, again, that's Bradford on the catch. Well, credit to the receiver with a great catch. My wow. gosh, he was had a collision coming, and he knew it was coming as well. Well, he was in double coverage right there as well. He knew he was going to get popped, but still came down with the ball. That's that's a yeah. great catch. Root, who's that? Reed pulling with the stop. Notice the pass on first down that time, fellas. Nine yard pickup too. Yeah, yep. they set it up <laughs> via the run. Now it's second down and very short. 
They're going to pass it again. Pete looks right, throws right, has a man down the right side. Oh, oh man, what woo. a play. Good play there. Now, what a, a play. Beautiful break up in the end zone by the Cardinals defender. As the first quarter comes to an end, we'll step away here on the Cardinal Sports Network and hear some words from our fine sponsors, and we'll set, reset things as we come back on the other side. You're watching Cardinal Football on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome back, Trinity Valley athletes. Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Sports Medicine is here to keep you going at full force. Our commitment to helping athletes perform at their best on and off the field is our core strength. Whether it's orthopedics, performance, or wellness, physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital is your choice for better health in East Texas. Just like every hard-driving Cardinal, we're focused on excellence every day. Finding success in life is a journey. Whatever road you're on, take the next step at Trinity Valley Community College. Whether you want to get new job skills, work yeah. toward a degree, or just take up. classes for fun, TVCC can design a plan just for you. As an Aspen Prize Top 150 U.S. Community College, TVCC in Athens, Kaufman, Palestine, and Terrell delivers a quality, affordable education, and financial aid is available. Visit us at tvcc.edu. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. Field and the Cardinals on top of the Apache 7-3. Jarek Harper broke up a beautifully thrown ball while going the back of the end zone by TJC Apache quarterback Pete. And uh, I tell you what, if he hadn't got up there, reaching his highest point and knocked it down, that would have been six. Exactly. That was just a great defensive play. You can't say anything else about it. And now we're going to have a timeout <laughs> by TJC. They want to think about it again. Yeah, he don't like something there. So they're going to call a timeout and think about it. But, guys, so far, a very low-scoring affair just in the first quarter. Yeah, of 10 points in the first quarter. I would have bet, <laughs> I would have bet the, I would have taken the over if I had to make that bet. So. Yeah, yeah, well. We're early in the first quarter, so or early in the second quarter now. Of course, the second quarter hadn't started. Yet. We're trying to get it started, folks, but it hasn't started it's, yet. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> TJC calling a timeout to start the second quarter. I assume they saw something they didn't right. like on the Cardinal defensive setup, or maybe they didn't like the alignment they had on offense. One of the two, I would guess, is the situation. Yeah, maybe a personnel issue. You never know because we're not down the field, but. You're right, Benny. It could have been a plethora of different reasons why they call that timeout. But now they burn one here and have two left. So we'll see if that plays a factor later on in the Well, in I, think they're gonna, I think they're going to go for the run and get the little first down before they can have you know, a couple more plays. You know. Oh, no, they changed the mind. Pete back to pass. Downfield has a man and Ooh. overthrows him. Oh, he was wide open, but he got overthrown, Joe. You're right. Arabia Bradford, the intended receiver, and he had yeah. about three steps on the Trinity Valley defense. Yeah, I think that was Harper he ran away from yeah. that yeah. time. Yeah. But I, I like that play call by TJC, third, yeah. third in a yard exactly. like that. Now you got fourth in a yard, you're going to go for it, obviously. Right. Yeah, and, and I tell you what, I don't know if I would pat, I would run the ball right here if I was TJC because Trinity Valley's been strong against the run so far today. I and press coverage on the outside. I would have ran it on third and one. But who am I? Eichley in the backfield. Going to try to pass it. Pete steps up, and he's going to get the first down. Wow. Joe Sniff in there and whew, on that tackle initially. Yeah, the Cardinals had a chance to make a play on him, but it's just yeah. credit to Pete for missing the make, making the Cardinals miss. I'll tell you what, uh, that's a name for quarterback Pete. I remember Rodney Pete. He was a good quarterback. And interesting, I see the visitor's press box is open on the far side. I didn't think it was open. Yeah. <laughs> well, somebody <laughs> opened it. <That's> nice. <laughs> <laughs> they don't open it. We ain't going to say nothing, though. There's a handoff, and that's Lee again around the left side. Close to first down yards. You're gonna Boy, they're giving up nine yards on first down now. That's not a winning combination for the yeah, Cardinals. I just said the Cardinals were doing good on the run defense, but their league got nine. Yeah. 
Apaches will set up with two wide receivers to the near side of the field, one on the far side of the field. This is going to be a little bubble screen. And uh, nothing doing really there. Brought down by David. Madison. Yes. Tui. I'm going to call him David. Well, you can call him Tui. That's fine. Yeah, Tui. Okay. <laughs> Down by David Tui. I tell you, as the night progresses here, those numbers are non existent for us to see. Yeah. You might see them on your TV, but up here it's hard to see. Pete throws it right, Ooh. and that's going to get a, a flag for pass interference, or I thought it was. Oh, it's got to. It did. Oh, my. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, we'll leave it alone. Don't say nothing. I, I got to say that. <laughs> He's talking to him too. He's like, yeah, yeah I didn't get. I got away with it. There was a lot of that white jersey being pulled right there, <laughs> and we are Trinity Valley fans, but uh, yeah. Davion Scott there, Captain Obvious, could have saw that. <laughs> Stevie too, Stevie one. What, what a big no call right there for the Trinity Valley Cardinals. That would have set them up deep in Trinity Valley territory, which they are. They're in the red zone right now, and Pete going to pull it out, throw it across the middle. That catch is caught down to the ten yard line. It'll be enough for a TJC first down. I, I think it's a little short, Joe. We're going to spot him short. Okay. Third, third in the yard. Brought down by Trail Riley. That was Trey Taylor again on the reception. They're finding something with these little slant plays over the middle against the Cardinal defense right now. They really are. So third and one. Hand off to Lee. And Lee. Squirts ahead for the first down. Be first to go from the eight. Cardinal defense is, you've heard it before, you guys time to bow your neck. Yeah, time to do it. You'd love to hold them to only three right here. But I think that's asking a lot. Having been doing it twice in a row. Not that they haven't done, we haven't seen them do it before, but yeah, it's asking a lot against an offense like TJC's got on the field. Yeah, yeah they, they've been on the field a lot too. They've been in their mode up. Pete rolls left, throws left, has a man caught complete. And he'll scamper in the end zone for the score. And uh, a nice play that time by Gabe Adams. And Adams had to reach around almost behind his body to catch that, but he hauled it in for the score. Yep. Now the swing and gate play here. Swing and gate. You got to watch this. Christian Baxter will attempt the point after for the Apaches. And Right now they're ahead by two. Baxter's extra point is up and it's good. Flag down. And a penalty Ooh. marker comes down from the far side of the field. And where did that ball fall down from? <laughs> Maybe somebody threw it back in. The ball and like it hit the, the goal. Well, <laughs> offsides against the Cardinals. Well, there's no question now, guys. The Cardinal offense, they, I'm not saying they've got to score. They've got to answer. They've got to give the defense a breather. Yeah, you need to sustain a pretty long drive you know, here. You've got to. to you, keep you, your defense. In a perfect world, you get points. Right. But you at least got to flip the field if nothing else. But I guarantee you this TGC offense is – Offense has found his confidence level now right. and the rhythm, and they're going. Yeah, the offense just hadn't had any breaks, really, to speak of so far. Uh, not putting in the end zone or getting close to the end zone, then throwing that that pick. Uh, in well, the of end course, zone they hit the they hit the touchdown that was called back as a yeah, lineman down the field. That, one, yeah. that changed the whole complexion of this game. Four, the 14 0. Exactly. Yeah, then the whole, the whole body language changed from TJC after that penalty was called. And then they got on offense, scored the touchdown. You could see the confidence building over on that sideline for TJC. If you're the Cardinals, don't go to sleep on this kick again because you're leaving a lot of space on the field out there. The ball hit the ground the last time we saw it almost cause them an issue. Christian Baxter will tee it off for TJC. <laughs> Allen Humphrey back deep in this. It was out of bounds. Go, yeah, it's going to draw the ball. Come to, go to the 35-yard line if you want it, Cardinals. We'll take it. So start the Cardinals up with pretty good field position. But the offense has got to answer. There's just absolutely no question about it now. The, the pressure is on them to do so. Yeah, I, I think the running game so far has been working pretty well for the Cardinals. Uh, maybe you go back to it right here and sustain something on the ground, grind some of that clock off, keep it out of TJC's hands, and then let your defense get some rest. And like we said, a nice sustained drive would be good. Yes, sir. Thompson back in a uh, setback for the running back for the Cardinals, number four. 
A piece at quarterback. Cardinals go two wide receivers to the near side of the field, one to the far side. And Peace back to pass, throws one deep, has a man, and that ball's caught at the 22-yard line. What Absolutely. a catch. What a catch right there. Goodness gracious, what a throw also. That's Davis on that catch for and, the Cardinals. And Javis, uh, Javis Lyons, he's upset about that. Though. He thought he had that ball. So Mary Davis went up and grabbed that ball and mossed Lyons. Yes, he did. Nice throw by Darion. There's a handoff, and that's a nice run there. Great answer for the Cardinals thus far. Thompson on the run, following them big bodies up front for the Cardinals. Yes, sir. It doesn't look like much, but it's a gain of three, and I'll take three a pop every time. Peace back to pass. Has his tight end open. And, oh. And he lost his foot. <laughs> <laughs> he got, he got the turf talking him again. Oh, my. Well, he's a big towering tree out there. Yeah. Oh, man. That's number 18, Andrew Allison. And that's going to be third down and three. Big third down for the Cardinals. Offense looking good. It's going to be a handoff. Thompson. Thompson falling his blocks. Yeah, a little slow about cutting it up in there, yeah, I thought. Yeah. A lot of bodies up in there also. And. Take one yard gain. I think you take the three, don't you? You got to take the three. Or do you show your team? Oh, we're gonna I, we're gonna pick it up. All right, you got to. I take, think Coach take Foles is gonna tie it right here, and I would have went for it personally, but <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. You yeah, don't want to sure get you in the ball right sure there. Sure you do. Yeah. This gives your defense a little bit more time to catch their breath as well. You know, you're tied up, and the team's a little confident again. You know. A little early to be talking about, but you get the ball to start the second half. Yeah. James Allen with a 31-yard attempt up and coming for the Cardinals. No, I think it's Ty Powers. Excuse me, Ty Powers. And that kick is up and good. Excuse me, everyone. That was Ty Powers. Mm -hmm. Mr. Powers. 31-yard field goal up and good. 10-10 to -10 is our score. Trinity Valley ties it up with TJC. 10-22 remaining to go in the half. And, folks, we got ourselves a ball game here. Yeah, that's exactly what the Cardinal offense had to do. Without question, they had to. Now the offense, defense will feel, feel refreshed. Uh -huh. You're starting back at scratch again. Right. Let's start over. And you know the Confident. offense had their back yeah. then, so that's a that's a good uh, scoring drive right there for the Cardinals. And you like to wait. And Darian you like Darian, through the ball. Yes, he came back from the interception and threw a deep ball across the middle with a lot of confidence because it was a 50-50 ball. Yes, sir. Yeah. Look at that catch with the with the replay right there. Yeah, he he threw that ball on a rope. Yes, sir. Right in the money. Yep. Couldn't do nothing but catch that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a great angle this is here. Watch this replay, folks. Yeah, and he just goes up. Boom. Ooh, pulls great it job, guys. Yeah. Great job. And the ground can't cause a fumble. So in the NFL, though, that would not have been a catch. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just saying, that would not have been a catch you, in the NFL. You Cowboy fans need to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> he read that one real quick, didn't he? <laughs> just let it go, fellas. <laughs> Alta Morano's kick is going to be a deep end over end kick. Filled it inside the goal, about one yard deep. Had one man miss. And that might oh, have been a mistake right there. <laughs> he, he didn't make him miss, though. Arabia Bradford, I don't think he should have returned that ball, but he did. And that works out in Trinity Valley's favor. Makai Williams with that tackle with a good hit. Yeah, that was a good hit there. Yes, sir. Now the defense, let's get the ball back here. That's what, you would, that's what you're hoping to do if you're a Cardinal fan and a Cardinal defense is get the ball back. You certainly don't want to let – you'd like to get the ball back, get a score, get the first half over with, start the second half with the ball, there and you go. then you go. You build on something. Well, Trinity Valley's got them pinned deep in their own end of the field, and they'll start this drive from the 15-yard line. we got a discussion on the field here. That's yeah. always concerns me. I didn't see a flag, but that doesn't mean there's not one out there. There's something down on the field about the 37 yard line. It's definitely not a flag. Well, I hope it's not a jock strap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they wear those anymore. Uh -oh. oh, my. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's all about the compression. It looks now. like a hat. Yeah. They, they zoomed yeah. in yeah, on yeah, got the good flag. Guy, good got a flag. There's, well, there's the flag. flag. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Our guys don't miss anything. Yeah, thank folks. the camera. Yeah, they, they own it. That, that's a hat clearly on the field right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, you know, sometimes they can't throw the flag, they throw the hat. Yeah. He, and here's the missing hat guy. The only thing he had left was his britches or his glasses. So. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that was a back judge making that call. So, a long powwow. Yeah, we got something to discuss pretty big. I'll tell you. I, are they going to make him kick it over? Offsides on the kickoff. Oh, wow. 
No way. Unsportsmanlike conduct against TJC. Mm. Offset? Well, they're going to have to kick it over. But from 15 yards further down the field, correct? I don't. I don't think you offset on a. Well, I, I, I'm assuming that it should be that way, but they may have another conference to talk about <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, they got to see what's up. Yeah, they're going to mark. They're going. They're definitely going to mark up to 15 yards because you can't let unsportsmanlike conduct go unpenalized. Yeah, because it happened after the kick, so the infraction will be marked off after the dead ball, which will be in Trini Valley's favor on this, unless there's a return for a touchdown made. <laughs> <laughs> but you would think this would go in the end zone. Yeah, we could take this to the end zone and break it out. Alta Morano, again, will put that big leg to use of his. Nice to have two great kickers, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Alta Morano, your, your deep kickoff specialist, and he can also hit field goals from 40 out. And that ball is going to be an end over end yeah. kick, and Bradford's going to watch it roll in and out of the back of the end zone. Yeah. Anytime it hits the top of the eye in the end zone Cardinals, <laughs> yeah. it's probably a good thing for the kicking team. Yes, so that, I guess it, well, they're going to lose field position on it, actually, and TJC will gain field position. Well, absolutely, so. they will, actually, yeah. Yeah, so that penalty really didn't work against TJC too much. But you didn't have to cover a kick. No. Yeah. No. Legitimately cover a kick. So a net gain of 15 yards for TJC after all that debacle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Cardinal defense, it's time now. The offense did its part. Here it's, we go. It's up to you now. Got you back even. And the Cardinal defense has really done a nice job, oh, yeah. but they, they've defended a lot of field tonight so well, far. Well, they, they have, and that's the thing right now. You, you wonder how fresh they're going to be after that little rest they got. And, but they're young, so, you know, they're yeah. conditioned. They're college athletes, and you can bet that the coaches have them ready to go. It's going to be a handoff to Ikeley. Oh, Ooh. my goodness, what a hole. Oh, what a and, move. Oh, man, he's breaking he's, ankles. He is still rolling and knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Kind of a new look for the car, uh, Tyler offense. They had two backs in the backfield. Yeah, yeah they, they did. They put one in motion. The Cardinal defense, the linebackers, went with the motion and opened Ooh. up the hole on the opposite side of the field. So a little smoke and mirror play right there. Absolutely what happened, Joey. Absolutely. That's a great play call, too. Well designed. Yeah. They've been taking it to the air. They, 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 they trick you every time. Let's Same see. look again. Yeah, they may throw it to him this time. Yeah, there it is. There it is. That's oh, boom. easily read. That's defense there. There it is. Yeah. So don't try it two times because <laughs> you know what's going to happen on that second. We knew Everybody knew it was going to be a pass. It went from being a good play design to how you ran it too much. And Devin, he wasn't nervous that time. Oh, man. He wasn't nervous at all. Was he? <laughs> I, I bet that defender was after he <laughs> saw him coming. Hey, let's don't call that one just so quick again, Coach. Yes, sir. Yeah, Mr. Devin nervous on that top. Yeah, Devin laid a lick. After the catch there. Second down, 14. Pete looks right, throws right. Oh, it's almost Woo. picked off. Almost. Goodness gracious. Ooh wee. Davion Scott almost had a pick six. Oh, yes, my sir. goodness. Yeah, Davion Scott, he, he's going to There was nothing them. in front of him except green turf. Uh, yeah. He, I was it, about it, to say on. grass, but I caught myself. <laughs> Yeah, he if, 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 if he, he had to leave quite a bit, so if he, he had hit the ground in perfect stride, but you're right, right Joey, he would have been, he had a lot of green turf in front of him. And, and Pete had a receiver open also, and, and Davian, excuse me, yeah, Davian Scott just jumped the route. Big third down. Yeah, third and 14. Third and 14 here, two wide receivers left and right for TJC. If they pick up part of it, they may go for it. Back and out of the backfield, Ike Lee, and he's going to throw oh it down my. the left oh. side. Has a man, but oh. I don't think he caught it. I don't think he got his feet in bounds. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. We I, need to see this again. Oh, he said catch it. He said he caught it. If there's a replay on that, I would love to see it because it looked like to me the receiver pushed off, actually. Yeah, there was two things happened. The push off, and then maybe he didn't come, out, come down with the ball. Wow. May not have time for the replay since they're setting up so quick to run the play, but I, yeah. bet, we, I bet our guys got it somewhere back in the truck for us. Yeah. All right, Pete. Looks right, throws right. Oh, oh, my goodness, almost picked off. Almost again. again. Sorry for the sound effects, but I saw that one coming. Yeah. And here's that last previous Chase play. Canada. Ooh. And there's Pete's pass. And you can see the push off right before the break. Oh, he was out of bounds. Out of bounds. He, he was Ooh, out. He was out of bounds. Wee. Clearly out of bounds. Oh, my. Good job, guys. We'll, we'll see it again from this angle here. Yeah. Maybe we get out the. Of oh, yeah. yeah. Out of bounds. Clearly out of bounds. 
There it is. Right, boom, out of no, bounds the no whole toe way. No toe-tap swag Ooh. there. Oh, my goodness. Pass downfield incomplete. Oh, he Another break looking. for the Cardinals. Yeah, he wasn't looking, Joel. They weren't on the same page. No. Yeah, he's supposed to run a little button right there, yeah. and he ran a go instead. And yeah. Boy, I tell you, if somebody had been right there, that'd have been a pick six. Well, it's, it's third and ten. I don't know what I don't know if TCC field goal kicker has that range or not. Mm. But if they pick up any part of this ten yards, I say they go for it on fourth down. Yeah. yeah earlier he was drilling from about thirty-five out, so right close to where his range was in warm-ups. But he he may have a stronger leg. Pete drops back, looks middle, throws middle. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a catch. What a catch. That's a big-time catch. That there, folks. is a big-time yeah. catch, Benny Rogers. Woo. And that's Ike Lee there. Man, what a catch. Oh, he, he, just, he just runs a wheel route, basically, out of the backfield down mm. the middle and in traffic. Well, give TJC credit. They yeah. are answering. They are answering every bit. It's going to be up to the Cardinal offense to do yeah. the same thing. We may deep. still get our 45 points, guys. We could. Yeah. That's first half here. So first and goal, TJC in the red zone. They're going to operate with two wide receivers on the near side and one on the far side. Two backs in the backfield. I tell you what, that running back looked like he yeah, jumped. Yeah, he jumped. Yeah. Pass downfield is incomplete. Ooh. No flag. And yeah. Pete hit his intended receiver right in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the hand. But he, yeah, he couldn't look up. He was on top of it. I think that was Jorio Washington on the coverage. It was Washington yeah. making another fine coverage play for the Cardinals. Man, they almost had two or three picks. Boy, how happy are we for these monitors up here? Because oh, yeah. Without yeah, it thank tonight, you. It, it would be horrible. Yeah. I could not see yeah. the jersey well, numbers. Our, and our guys are killing it with the replays. Yeah, they, they are. It. Doing a great job. So, here we go. Second down and goal. Pete, you're going to throw it again to the outside, trying to set something up to the outside. Make oh. the tackles. And the Cardinal defense oh, does oh, a good job oh, of stringing it out. Oh. Mm -hmm. David Tui. That usually throw, pick you up a flag right yeah, there. Yeah. Tui made that play, yeah. but I'll tell you what, I, I know he went out of bounds or close to the nine-yard line. They're going to mark it at the eight, I believe, Joey. Third and goal from the eight. Big play for the defense here. So the defense again. It's going to be a good stop here. What, what's the slant route? Gabe Adams now in the backfield, it looks like, for TJC. Now that's Johnson. And Pete rolls left, has Johnson. The flare is picked <laughs> off. And here we go, folks. A great play by the Cardinal defense. That's just what the doctor ordered. Step picked it off at the two-yard line. I hope I didn't see a flag on the play. And that was my boy, There's Crosby. Some. Isaiah Crosby with the interception. His Joel. fourth interception of the season. Yes, sir. And it was a hold on the play, and it was charged against TJC. That'll be decline and the Cardinals will have the football. What a play. He returned it from the two-yard line all the way out across midfield, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Yes. No, to the 39-yard line. Yeah, 39. But didn't you have the feeling that one of those times coming that we were going to pick something off here and return it because it was just too dangerous, those first three or four passes exactly. on this drive or on that drive for TJC and the Trinity Valley doing a good job of being in their playbook right now. Yes, and that is Crosby's fourth interception on the season. All right, Mr. Crosby. Now, Trinity Valley is going to bring their offense on the field with 7.38 remaining to go in this half. It's 10 to 10, all knotted up here at Bruce Field in Athens, Texas, on a gorgeous night. Absolutely gorgeous. Temperature I love it. at kickoff was around 82 degrees. Darion Peace, the quarterback for Here the go. Cardinals. That's Dylan Robinson, number 16. He's checked in at a receiver position for the Cardinals. And Drinkard is going to get the handoff. I'm a drinker on the carry. We saw Darion Peace and Robinson develop some chemistry in that season opener against Snow over Malakoff. Yes, we did. Brought down by Darion White. Second down, eight yards to go for the Cardinals. Peace is going to hand the ball off again. A nice run setting up here for the Cardinals. Ooh, he's Little razzle-dazzle with the footwork. Still on his feet. Drinker fighting for yardage over the 50-yard line to the 49 and a first down for the Cards. Brought down by White once again. Great piece of running that time. Yeah. How great of an athlete is, is Hyman Drinker. I oh. mean, he does it all. He does it all. Look at this mess right here. And he just runs. Uh, whoop. <laughs> there he goes there with, it a, is. with a stiff arm. Here we go into this next play again. again. Uh oh, 
Oh, a sh shot's a shot to the head. Goodness yeah, gracious, hit him with the head hard. That's got to be called targeting right there, and it's not. Yeah, that was. Drinkard again giving the Cardinal offense a spark here in the backfield. Tavon Clark. Showed great patience to let his blocking set up for him on that play. He does. Yes, a great field vision. They're going to give it to him again. Feed me, Sigmund. <laughs> and he just slips across the four. He's going to lose probably a yard on that. He, he slipped down. The How's he going to pick up the first down? Like, oh, oh, I guess not. I thought so. Oh. Well, it's second and short. Good call, Joey. I thought he picked up the first down. Wow. You got two yeah. downs to make a yard. Yeah, they, they spotted him a little short, but it's third down now. TJC is going to sell for the run. It's going to be a pass. Caught and complete for the first down. And a nice catch made out in open space that time by the Cardinal wide receiver. Brought out of bounds by Funa. Thank you. That's uh, Dayton Sweet. So Sweet again with another Cardinal catch, and this time it pays dividends for a first down and keeps the drive alive for the Cardinals. Oh, that's a first. Good job by the Cardinal offense. Basic quarterback, Drinker in the backfield. Out of the gun. Little delayed handoff to Drinker. Drinker running tough. And right a tackle down. made by J.J. Acate. Yeah, Mr. J.J., the linebacker from Fort Worth, Texas, Cowtown. I think you've got the Apache set up for a little play action here now. It'd be a great time to call one. You're thinking run and then suck the linebackers up, maybe throw one over the middle. J.J.C. playing. Playing off, and there's going to be a penalty marker. I'll start. Yeah, I think that outside receiver moved Thanks. forward a little bit yeah. for the Cardinals. A little, little bit of flinching going on yeah. out there. You saw the motion man take off and kind of shook him a little bit. Got a case of the nerves going <laughs> on. That'll back him up five. It's one at the clock. It's Dylan Robinson out there, the lone receiver for Trinity Valley to our far side. Ladarius Fair down here is the near receiver. Piece back to pass, throws right, has a man. Oh, Ooh. just a little too much on it. A little bit too much pepper. Yeah, I think Robinson probably should have ran a little bit more before he stuck that hand up. He probably ran right up under yeah. that pass. Yeah, he, he gave him on the route just a little bit quick, I think. Yeah, and that would have been six because he had it burnt. <laughs> Third and long. There's a situation after the Cardinals need to pick up some of this yardage to, to get a manageable field goal possibly for Ty Powers or to put yourself in a position to go for it on fourth down. So third down now for the Cardinals. 429 left in the first half. Our game tied up 10 apiece. And it's going to be a bubble screen. Call complete. Close to a first down. Man yeah. of mercy, that was a nice run after the catch. It would be a 46-yard field little camp from this point. Do you want to go for it here? You know, I, I sent out to Morano in and let him look. kick here. But I'm not the coach. Ladarius Fair on that catch. Ty Powers is coming in to try. Uh -oh. So Powers is coming in. He's got a strong leg also. It be a 46-yard field little attempt. Well, I've seen one from 61 today. Missouri kicker booted that from 61. This is from 46. He's got the leg to do it. That kick is up. Nope. And no Ooh. good. It went wide to the left. Yep. Well, a great answer by the TJC defense. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and it gives your defense, defense also. That was a pretty good sustained drive of over four minutes right there by the Cardinals. And that gives the defense a little time to get a breather and come back and do their thing. Yeah, if you're the defense, you want to get the ball back to the offense real quick, give them a chance to score before the end of the first half, but you don't want to give them any points to TJC. You'd, right. you'd be happy with 10 10 at halftime against a high scoring offense like TJC at this point. Now, Trinity Valley does get the ball back to start the second right. half also. Yep. So it would be key for them to at least put three on the board here if they can get the ball back. But you don't want TJC to move downfield and get three of their own either. Yeah, you know, three minutes is a long time. Yeah, seven seconds is a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, college football, huh? <laughs> You're right. Yeah, these offenses, uh, pass happy offenses, they can go quick. They can score in a hurry. First down and 10, TJC ball spotted at the 29. Pete with an option play, pitches it out. And that's a nice pitch. That's why the option should run right there. Yeah, absolutely. Good good, good, good execution by TJC. 
The perfect pitch, too. And that was Logan Johnson on the carry. See, the clock has continued to roll on the new rules in college football this year. Yeah, it don't stop. Mm. Pete, the quarterback. Pete, three-step drop. Looks over the middle, incomplete. Mm. And that was intended for Bradford once again. Well, Crosby was just patrolling the center of the field, playing center field that time. Yeah, yeah, he was, and, and he did defend it pretty well also. It was a bad pass. The pass wasn't just put there perfectly, or he might have had a chance to catch it. But as you said, the center fielder was there. Second down and 10. Pete handoff to Johnson. Nothing doing. Oh, what a what a play by the Cardinal front. So we go Victor Clark. Lamont we'll Henry the second also there, 33. You can say several Cardinals were in on that yeah, one because there's Victor three Clark. or four bodies around. This is a big third down, fellas, because Cardinals get the ball back with about three minutes to go if they can hold them here. Yeah, and they've got a pocket full of timeouts too. Third down, Pete looks over to the sideline. Ockley in the backfield to Pete's right. Like to drew him offside that time. Going to go two wide receivers to the far side, one to our near side here. Pete back to pass. Four-step drop, looks middle, throws left. No one home. Nope. And that, that was just a case of his receiver ran too far. He's trying to throw it out, Patter. Cardinals are about to get the ball back with – Two two thirty left and three timeouts in their back pocket, as Joey mentioned. Oh, yeah, that's that's a lot of time. That's do it. And you can if you can score, then you get the ball to start the second half. You have a chance to score twice before TJC gets the ball back again. That's exactly right. It's a good point, Benny. And the Cardinals can do it. Yes, they can. Just want to be careful with the football and not turn the ball over and give TJC a quick score and let them go into the halftime with the momentum. I think uh, Coach Poe's going to call a timeout for the Cardinals here with 2.48 remaining. Well, they didn't like something out there. Well, they want to make sure everybody's on the same page here. And rightfully so. Like we're missing somebody that didn't come in. Yep. Yeah. There you go. You know, somebody. That's the second time we've seen that tonight yeah. on the special teams. Mm. Oh, Y'all didn't hear that, did you? Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Benny heard it, <laughs> yeah. and so did I. I, I. I, was, I, was, I was like, oh, nobody's going to say anything. <laughs> I'm going to well, leave it alone. It, it's early in the first, so. Yeah. Second. but or Second, okay. Point, point, point well taken. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes, 48 seconds left in the first half. The score is knotted up. Colin Randall will punt this ball away for TJC. A very high wobbly kick. 21-yard line is returned to the 29. He's stonewalled there by Johnson. That's Crosby on the return. Crosby. So the Cardinals have pretty good field position here at the 29-yard line where they'll start this drive. Yeah. 241 left in the first half. Two timeouts to in the Bucks. Yeah, you take your time and kill that clock a little bit and just you know try to work yourself down the field. Oh, yeah, you've got plenty of time got right plenty here. Of time. You're yeah. 71 yards away. and Make good passes or you know, make good runs. Hold on to the ball. Drinkard remains in the backfield, no surprise. Oh, there he is. Well, he, i tell you what, he gave him a spark while ago, and I, I would assume he'd come back out and keep that spark going for the Cardinals. Cardinals going two wide receivers left. What do you know? And Drinkard, again, gives the Cardinals a nice run on first down, a gain of four. I like that call on first down. See what you get, see what it sets up for you, and then make your decisions of what you do the rest of the half from there. Especially if you got Drinkard in the backfield because he's got the capabilities of breaking one at any time. Oh, yeah. He picked up four yards. We'll take four all day. Right there. Nice play right there set up for the Cardinals. Oh, a nice stretch there by the young man, and that's going to be number 80 for the Cardinals. 81. 81, Rowdy Godwin. Of Athens, Texas. Yeah, he's only six foot six. When he stretches out, he can get six yards, and he got the first down for the Cardinals on the stretch. Catching footballs again at Bruce Field. All right, once again. Hand off to Drinker. Nice cutback against Ooh. the grain. Great instincts by that young yes, man. Yes, he did. Was. That's a true running back, Doug. 
Mark knows what he's talking about, folks. We we saw him run for 354 yards or something against Currents one night. On <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. one time against Kemp too. Oh yeah. yeah. Ran up my spine many times. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get out of the way. Second and five. That's a five-yard gain by Drinkard. Again, Drinkard. Ooh. He's hit pretty hard right there, but still gains a few. Oh, yeah. That ain't nothing. That's what we, I like, we like hits like that. Zion Funa with the tackle, the linebacker. Third down and two. Cardinals need to pick this up. Nothing else. You just want to run out the rest of the clock. And you want to score, of course. Right. But at the very least, you want to not run the clock out and not give Tyler another opportunity with the ball. Yeah, you, you may want to keep it on the ground right here as well. Cool. Referees winding the clock, but they're not. No. There you go. They got to they got to take some time off. Yeah, there's some confusion going on here. They're gonna they're gonna run some time off this clock because he was winding it for the longest time and it was stopped. So. Yep, you're looking at it. Well, I don't. I guess not. <laughs> there it is. He ain't running now. All right, so <laughs> now we're going to catch back up, I guess. Everybody's happy. Yeah, everybody's happy. Well, the clock on the home end's not working. The big scoreboard's not working. Oh, yeah, it's off. So that makes this a disadvantage for the Cardinals going again, moving into the scoreboard, and teams will need to keep that in, in mind in the second half when they just – Tyler, when they decide what end of the field they want. Yeah, it looks like Coach, Coach taking the time. is going to yeah, let time. this run down a little bit before they snap the ball. Yes, sir. 16 on the play clock. You don't leave Tyler any time. And there comes Drinker with a handoff. Ooh. A nice defensive play oh made my. right there. You just thought he was going to break that one. That was, and, uh, that will Tyler good. call a timeout here to get the, to force Cardo's hand? Yeah, Noah Kimbrough with a good stop right there for yeah. TJC. Yeah. So fourth and one, what do you do right here? I go for you it. you got to go for it. 35 seconds. You're of the younger generation. Or go a hard count. they got to do something. Well, if you got, if, the clock you got a, if you got punt in mind. You know, why not go to hard camp, draw them all sides? I think that's probably that's what, what they're going to do. Like, do. Like he's gonna they're gonna take you're not going to give Tyler the ball back at the 50-yard line with, you know. Of course, Tyler has no interest in the ball because they didn't call a timeout. Right. Yeah, here's another thing to think about, too. 15 seconds left. You let Darion rip one downfield with that rifle of arm he's got and see what happens here. Well, then you got to defend half the field in, uh, you, know, you know, one play. If it's a turnover, you, you get it deep. Or treat TJC to get it deep in their own territory, possibly, unless they run it back. But Whew. yeah, this is this is yeah, you, it's a bunch of scenarios of this one. There's different ones. Whew. I, I kind of like playing devil's advocate a lot. I'm making Benny nervous. As a <laughs> 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 Benny, like, no, nah, they in the middle of the field, no sir. I'm trying you to figure out. Up. I'm sitting here trying to figure out the plot. Web telling you know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that you just come out and say it. That's all you do. <laughs> Oh, I would never say that. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Yeah. It'll be interesting if they do. But like and, you said, they miss know, it. You just don't know trouble. what's going to happen either. Well, the thing about it is, for, you say the Cardinals can hit one long pass. Uh-oh. But <laughs> do it right. <laughs> But if, but if you don't hit the long pass, Tyler gets the ball back there, and they've got a chance on one play to hit the one long pass. So that's, that's true. Oh, we. So what do you do right here? <laughs> Pick up the first down and go to the halftime. There's the handoff. And he got it. Drinker's got the first down. Now Ooh. you call a timeout and think sling the ball down the field one time. There we go. That was Quincy Thompson on the run, excuse me, number four for the Cardinals, but the Cardinals do have a first down. We can agree on that. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Mike Ray. And now there is time here. Woo. Probably for one last play. Pass downfield, has a man open. Oh, oh through his hands. Goodness oh, gracious. Oh, my. It wouldn't have mattered. I don't think yeah, he would have scored. Yeah, the clock would have ran out, but Ooh. oh, my. Well, we had a surprise 10-10 uh, score at halftime, folks, here at Brucefield <laughs> and Athens. You're watching Cardinal football on the Cardinal Sports Network. We're going to step away from a word from our sponsors, and then we'll come back and let you join the sights and sounds of halftime at Brucefield here on this Saturday night in Athens, Texas. I was in a coma for about two weeks. I've had the worst happen to me, but you can't let life beat you down. I was in recovery and the doctor came in and he said, you and I are gonna run in this marathon next year. My dream is to help other traumatic brain injury survivors. By the time we finished the first mile, I started tearing up. You know, we went full circle here. I'll live my life to the fullest each day. I wanna show them that you're strong, you're resilient, and you can keep going. Here's to those who never settle. 
Long before the craving hit you, when nothing else would do but Texas barbecue, we were way ahead of you. Dickie's Barbecue Pit satisfies your craving, delivered where you want it, when you want it. Order online or use our app, Dickie's Delivers. When I was first diagnosed with multiple myeloma, you had a 30 to 40% chance to live four years. Well, here I'm 15 years out from my transplant, and I'm doing all this stuff still. When the doctor came in the next morning, he said, you don't even look like you had surgery. I said, thank you. It makes you look forward to every day. I mean, you know, something knocks you down, you just get up and keep on moving. Go live. I'm being revamped. Here's to those who never settle. Tell us one thing you love about that meaty sandwich. Go. Two things. Well, OK. The bread, the stock and the bacon, the lettuce. That's like four things. And the tomato and the sauce is so good. There you go. Schlotzky's. It's a mouthful. Welcome back, Trinity Valley athletes. Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Sports Medicine is here to keep you going at full force. Our commitment to helping athletes perform at their best on and off the field is our core strength. Whether it's orthopedics, performance, or wellness, physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital is your choice for better health in East Texas. Just like every hard-driving Cardinal, we're focused on excellence every day. For more than 75 years, Dickey's Barbecue Pit has perfected Texas brisket. Hand rubbed and smoked low and slow for 14 hours every day. This is the way real brisket gets done. Dickey's Barbecue Pit, legit Texas barbecue. At First State Bank, we like to say we're big enough to help, small enough to care. Our communities and the families and businesses within them are what have mattered most to us for decades. Since 1935, our commitment has been to not only support local, but to foster growth for generations to come. We've given back to organizations that help our community thrive, and with six convenient locations, we continue to do our part in serving you, our communities, our businesses, our families.
The road director of the Rams is Miss Emma Phoenix. The assistant to the Rams is Miss Betsy Gilly Gilsons. The work of the Rams are at his own as a director of Mr. Brian Davis. Hunter Guard and his character is Paige Sensen. Your view is Louis Sensen, Ben Sensen. Thank you and good evening. And that wraps up another halftime show put on by the Cardettes and the Cardinal Regiment. You're watching Cardinal Football on the Cardinal Sports Network. We are at halftime at Bruce Field with the Cardinals and Tyler Tide. 10-10. We'll be back after this message from our great sponsors. No one ever said you need to be sick to get better. That's why at Baylor Scott & White, we're innovating how people get well and stay that way. Where prevention Last might one. just be the prescription. Way to work. Teaching is on the treatment plan. That's what I'll do. I'll and everyone is always on the same team. Good girl. Yours. Baylor Scott and White Health, changing healthcare for the better.
our offense was dominating this year. Fast, powerful, virtually unstoppable. In fact, the only slow member of the team was me. When I was sidelined with ankle pain, it put the whole season at risk. So just like when my players need the best care, I turned to a proven provider. Now I'm back in the game. Get the care you need at physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital or visit tsjh.org to find a specialist today. Finding success in life is a journey. Whatever road you're on, take the next step at Trinity Valley Community College. Whether you want to get new job skills, work toward a degree, or just take classes for fun, TVCC can design a plan just for you. As an Aspen Prize Top 150 U.S. Community College, TVCC in Athens, Kaufman, Palestine, and Terrell delivers a quality, affordable education, and financial aid is available. Visit us at tvcc.edu. Bruce Field in Athens, Texas, folks. If you're just now joining us, there I like I like I like to ask each week, where the heck you been? <laughs> you're missing a great one. It's 10-10, Cardinals and Patches at halftime here in the 99th meeting between these two teams in the conference opener. I'm Benny Rogers, joined by Joy Snowden and Marcus Dallin, guys. That first half was a, was a, 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 a lot, 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 lot lower, more lower scoring than we thought it would be, but man, what a treat it was! Oh, man. I, I know it brought my nerves up, Ben. My, I got hot blood pressure right now. <laughs> I'm telling you. A low scoring affair. Yeah, I think we all kind of <laughs> bit up real high for the high forties and the fifties, but yeah. I, uh, I tell you what, it's got me so flushed. I had to turn my. I didn't even turn my mic on to talk. <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't hear myself. You, 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 you never sounded better. Uh, yeah, never, <laughs> you sounded, never real good. sounded better. Yeah. No one would ever know, would they? Don't, don't tee it up for me like that, Joey, because i gotta, I got I to smack it off that. It, that's fine. I left it open for everybody. So, Yeah, uh, not a slugfest going on like we thought. Uh, a, no. Kind of a tight game, 10 to 10. Both uh, teams should be commended for their effort in the first half in, yeah. in adjusting and readjusting to each other. Right, right, right. Yeah, and I think both teams have kind of hurt themselves with mistakes here and there. But, you know, you go to halftime and – both coaches are going to try to make some adjustments for the second half, and I'm kind of interested to see how Trinity Valley comes out on offense. And to me, they've been running the ball exceptionally well against TJC. Yeah. And that may be the recipe for success tonight in keeping that high-powered offense off the field as much as possible while resting your defense, run the football. Well, I think so, and Hyman Drinker came in and made a big impact, I thought, in those last two possessions that he was on the field at the running back position for the Cardinals. He did, and Clarence Dalton had some pretty nice runs in the first half also. As did Quincy, Quincy Thompson. Thompson. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, this is, a, this is a, a very, very close game, a good game to watch, especially if you're out there. And I went outside a while ago to kind of just – catch some air yeah. it feels wonderful out there i bet these kids are very excited to have some cool weather to play with well, the heat they've been working out in for the last oh, month man. and a half no doubt about it right well i think you got to give credit to a lot of credit to the cardinal defense because it looked like to me they did a great job studying their their game plan this week because it didn't look like tjc threw anything at them that they weren't expecting right and that boils down to coaching yeah you can hear the coaches when you, say when you've got yeah. great coaches they're going to game plan the other team up, and that's what Trinity Valley, the whole staff, has done against TJC for this week. They've been in the study room, and they've been studying their offense, and, and they've got it. They did a pretty good job of shutting them down. Yes, sir. And I kind of heard the coaches uh, earlier telling the kids, that's just the way we uh, practiced, this, practiced it, uh, the defense. So, got me studying a little bit now. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say next door to us. <laughs> well, I was going to ask what yeah, reference yeah, you were making yeah, the, there. The coaches next door to us, they was, they was chatting on the guys, telling them that's what we practice, is great defense. And oh, sure. Everything's going right. And right now, this is the conference opener for Trinity Valley uh, and TJC, correct? It is. And like, like I said last year, this is a conference opener for both teams over at Rose Stadium. And Cardinals won 28 to 27 when TJC missed a field goal to end the game. So this game is playing out a lot like that one did. It was a special teams play that eventually turned that game around with Channing Canada returning the kickoff for a touchdown. Exactly, and if you're Trinity Valley, you've got to be really happy with what you what you've done in the first half. But I'm sure if you ask any coach, coach, how did the first half go? They're going to say, well, we've made a lot of mistakes. We've got to clean some right. stuff up at the halftime. But to me right now, Trinity Valley's playing an outstanding game, and, and TJC not playing a bad game either. Well, folks, we got 30 minutes to decide this one. Maybe more time. You never know with yeah. the overtime rules oh and everything. <laughs> but with the second half play-by-play, -play, here's Joey Snowden. 
Yeah, all right, folks. So welcome back to Bruce Field in Athens, Texas on a gorgeous night. Absolutely gorgeous. Temperature outside feels just like football weather ought to feel in the fall. It's not fall yet, but it will be soon. It's fall in the field. Yeah. So uh, Trinity Valley will get the ball and start the second half here, and TJC has to kick this ball away. And will TJC be willing to try a little sneak try, sneak here, still a possession? Well, I don't know, Benny. I don't have much blood pressure <laughs> for all them short kicks like that. Yeah. So. Okay. I, I, just, I don't want to sit. I want them to kick the ball deep. And I, again, just, they don't care what I want. Let's see how they line up because they, they lined up tight earlier. Well, they almost kick. caught the Cardinals off guard, too, with that little pooch kick earlier. Okay, there it is. They got that tight lineup, guys. It might be the pooch again. Very well could be, Marcus. Baxter will tee it off. And it's a little pooch. Little short kick fielded at the 24. Uh -oh. This has a chance at being a return oh. here. A nice wall being oh, set Oh, needed one block. Oh, ne needed oh, one block. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, what a return what right a there block. by Hyman Drinker. But he needed one block. The wall set perfectly. Yes, and it, it was did. textbook. It was textbook. It, it was. And, and one guy missed the block, and which caused the tackle. And hey, you know who it a, was? I didn't get a number. Did you get Mike, it, Marcus? Yeah, Mike Jones. Mike Jones yeah. from yeah. TJC. Yeah, Mike Jones from TJC. I was going to ask who, but I better not. Yeah, he's from Houston, that, too. That kind of I don't broadcast. think they don't think his audience would get the joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, he's from Houston, so that's good. Mike Donald is really from Houston. Yeah, well, Trinity Valley comes on the field first down and 10. Great field position to start this second half from their own 42-yard line. Looks like Quincy Thompson back in at running back. So, Thompson, uh -oh. a little flea flicker play. Peace throwing downfield. And... Uh, yeah. Very uh, incomplete. TJC had that well defended. Yeah, they, they did. did. They had three defenders around the one wide receiver. <laughs> on it. it looked yeah. like they knew it was coming, and, and I'm kind of glad well, it was a bad pass. I'm, I'm going to tell you what, what hurt that play. The snap from center was very slow in getting back to Darion, and it threw the timing off, I think. Yeah, the timing looked way off on that play. You're right, Benny. Pope T coming out with a little trickery earlier. So second down and 10. There's a handoff. Uh, now you get back to the power running game. And here we go, oh, yeah. Cardinal fans. you got to love this running game. And, yeah, and, I, and I love it, too, and that's what I want to see. Well, they've got, they've got the horses to do it, up front and in the backfield. That was Quincy Thompson. Brought down by Emmanuel. Third, on guns. third and two. Yeah, very manageable third and two because it could have been third and long coming up. Oh, oh my goodness, here? and everybody but oh, the center no. moved. That's never a good thing. What's going on here? Oh, boy. Now you go from third and two to third and seven. Come on now. Yeah, those are mistakes that beat you. That's a tight end move that time. Well, I think the tight end was actually resetting himself. As a set, he, it, he just yeah, stood straight up. We'll look right here and see oh, for here sure. We here we go. Oh, he had his hand down on the ground. You can't yeah. put your hand down and right. That, that right side moved, and then everybody moved. When you move, we move, just like that. Yeah, that was a tight end that gets up out of his stance, and you can't do that. Still a manageable third down, though. Third and seven. See, the snap is just yeah, too yeah, slow. Yeah, it's slow. Peace is going to have to scramble. Has Hold some room. In. Throws downfield. Penalty on the play. That ball is caught, caught off the tip, I believe. They're going to say incomplete. Yeah, there was about three holding calls on that mm. penalty play. That'll back the Cardinals up even further to start the second half off. Not Ooh, the way you want to go to start the second half. Yeah. Well, now you need to decline the penalty and make them punt. Well, they should. That's what I would do. Let's see. They're going to have some conversation here with the head coach. I would put fourth down on that board any, any other week, fourth and seven. They're going to decline that, no doubt about it. Tanner Jacobson didn't take long to decide that for TJC's second-year head coach. Out of South Lake Carroll High School. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Lake he Carroll. is out of South okay. Lake. Yep. Yep. Kick this thing off. And now they got to move the ball back because they marked off penalty yardage originally, and then they put the ball back on the 45. Bring in James Allen to punt for the Cardinals, number 38. The thunder from down under, as we like to call it. And he needs a thunderous punt right here. I'm going to tell you. It's going to be Trey Taylor back deep. And this is a booming kick. Taylor fields it at the nine. He's up to the 20. Taylor Ooh. tries to get out of a tackle, but just couldn't do it. No, sir. And that's 33 on that tackle for the Cardinals. Yes, and nice to see him downfield. That's Henry II. Lamon Henry II. Yeah. 
So TJC will get the ball at the 25-yard line. They'll start their first possession in the second half, and the Cardinal defense will come out on the field. And let's see what the Cardinal defense is going to do right here, folks. So the Cardinal defense has to answer what the TJC exactly. defense just did. Yeah, because TJC come out and did their job that time, so the Cardinals need to answer here. Will help with a lot of penalties also. From Cardinals have one turnover on the night in that first half. Pete, the quarterback, man in motion is the tight end. Pete going to roll right. Looks downfield, throws across his body, has a receiver caught and completed. Almost getting away from would-be tackler there. That's uh, Gabe Adams again for TJC. Talk about David Tui. Tell you what, just something about Gabe Adams. He, he's a very good possession receiver. Well, he definitely is. He does a good job of running that little delay drag pattern across the center of the field. He's already caught a touchdown pass now from eight yards out. TJC will run two wide receivers to the near side of the field and one to the far side of the field. Man in motion is a tight end. Pete rolls left under duress. Pete throws downfield in the traffic. Oh, oops. And I don't think that's a catch. Now, this be a oh, my. Be a penalty for roughing the passer in the backfield. Though. And there's a skirmish breaking out around the 42-yard line as well. Uh, they just that should have drew a flag as well. But they're going to let that go, it looks like. And this is going to be a 15-yard pickup for TJC on the penalty for roughing the passer. Mm. Oh, my, you didn't want to see that happen. And oh, sir. That's three times now I can think that t t the Cardinals are giving Tyler a first down on a penalty. A 15-yard variety. So the catch would have been 17 yards. Here we see it again. Pete rolling to his left oh, on dude. the run, and he's going to throw the ball. Nice job of just tossing yeah, it over there. But it. Let's see. I don't think he catches this ball, and I could be wrong. I don't know. He might have got the tap now, down. He might have got the toe tap swag yeah. in with that right foot. But it's a great field position if they gave him the catch. I thought they just – I don't yep. think they really gave him the catch, did they? Yeah, they gave him the yeah, catch. Yeah, they gave him the catch, oh, which well then. that would have been 17 yards versus a 15 yards. So you, well, they're going to tack it on. They're going to tack it on the end of the play. Yeah. Oh, oh my. my. Look at that. So now TJC is a great field position here. Yeah, Tyler in the position to strike first here in the second half. Yep. For six or three. Again, we see the wide receiver going up for it and from this vantage point. It, it, it looks kind of – it looks close, but you can't really tell. But uh, they were there on the field to make the call, and we wasn't. So and then you add on 15 to that, and now TJC is in the red zone. Going to go let two back set, TJC is. Here we go. We're putting Adams in the backfield with Lee. Pete rolling right, looks right, throws right. Incomplete. Yep, incomplete pass. And yeah, he can't do that too low. Well, if you're the Cardinal defense, at the very least, you want to get out here is giving up a field goal. You would like to have a field goal for sure, no points for sure. <laughs> right. If you can manage that. I tell you, he was wide open down there too, Joe. Just on, on the throw. Oh. And here comes a a flag. Legal substitution. Yep. Broke the huddle with 13, play, 12 players. And as the fans chant, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> they're they're going to mark them. They're going to mark them off here for 10 yards. But them fans come up with something all the time. Though. That helps Trinity Valley out a little bit. Steve, that's five-yard penalty, not ten. So Pete and company for TJC. Break for the Cardinal defense. Now Johnson and Ike Lee in the backfield. There go three wide receivers set, and there goes. Got to watch Lee right here. He's sneaky. Pass downfield. Oh, it's Got picked it. off by the Cardinals. What a play. You got to watch that man again, too. There he is. 
There he goes once again. <laughs> the, that was Sean Connor there. Yes, sir. Sean Connor. On the Another great job of the Cardinal defense of reading the play. Man, they have played they played the assignment defense well tonight, Marcus. Yes, sir. That was a great pick right there by the Cardinal defense. He read that just, just right. Here we'll see it again, taking another look. And Pete What's just break on takes the his eyes Perfect. off. Woo. And that was Isaiah Crosby at number 23 on that pick. Oh, no, 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 it was 21. Was it 21? It was 21. I'm sure, pretty sure it was 20. We'll take another look here. We'll, we'll see the instant replay. And well, he stepped out of bounds. Oh, that that's, that's 21. Yep, so that is Sean Connor. Yeah, Mr. Sean 007 Connor. himself. Yes, sir. <laughs> Have a Cardinal timeout. Well, this could come back and bite you. Well, I yeah. think they're having some problems getting the correct personnel on the field again. And with 12.36 remaining to go in the third quarter, still tied 10 to 10. But, guys, we talked about the Cardinal defense needing to Step answer, up. and they answered there yeah, after good. bending but not breaking there right. in that red zone. And a great play made by Sean Connor. Who stepped out of bounds. Just He would have – Hey, that that could have been a very, very nice return, even yeah. maybe a pick six for yes, Sean sir. Connor. But it wasn't, and Trinity Valley had the ball first and 10 from their own 18-yard line. Dirty Birds do it again. The score still 10-10, knotted up. I believe the Drinker's back in the backfield for the Cardinals. He is back in the backfield. Peace is at quarterback. Starting at the 18-yard line, need about an 82-yard drive. This could be a pass play setting up there for the Cardinals, Darian Peace. He's going to hand it off to Drinker, and there goes Drinker again. Man, he's running hard tonight. <laughs> well, that field vision of his, he sees the hole, and then he hits it with authority and then lunges forward for extra yardage, and he's not easy to bring down in open space either. Count Carey with the tackle. Second down and five after a five-yard pickup. You'll take that on first down every time if you're a Cardinal fan. Again, it's going to be a handoff and drinker to get. Oh, my goodness, what a move. It was a great move. It had to show some patience in there in that move, too. Yeah, had to sidestep, sidestep the defender, and then it was able to get some more positive yardage there. The ball will be spotted at the 27-yard line, third down and a very manageable two. Need a third down pickup here for sure. Cardinals really need this first down. Peace back to pass, tosses it out of the backfield. It's going to be caught incomplete to the tight end for a Cardinal first down. Good play call right there. Absolutely was, Joey. And that is uh, Sweeten again. Called his number a couple times tonight. Hey, he's made several big key third down plays, too, for the Cardinals so far. And Post said going into the season, the tight ends are going to be so valuable for them this year. It looks like he's very deep at the tight end spot, too. Oh, we talked about yeah, running backs is. and quarterbacks, but big boys. So here we go, first down and 10 for the Cardinals. Back to pass, a little bubble screen set up. There's just something not quite right about the snap from center tonight. Right, it's kind of slow, slow snap. It's, it's, it's slow about getting back, Mark, you're right. That was Jameer Davis on that reception for the Cardinals at a positive gain of, we'll call it four, second down and six. Cam Carey on the top. I think it's affecting the timing of the play just ever so slightly. We'll watch it here and pay closer oh, that was attention. That's a good snap there. Another pass downfield, and there's another tight end catch for a first down, gain of. Eight on the play. Katie Mahanan on the top of TJC. That was Rowdy Godwin with that key catch right there for the Cardinals. And the Cardinals now dinking and dunking their way down the field. Yes, they are. Drinkard again will get the carry. Drinkard fighting to get loose. He does. Reverses this field. Oh, wow. Cuts back up against Ooh. the grain and Ooh. still gets a positive yard out. A lot of contact in there. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> yeah, how he boy, did that. that guy's that. getting it. That's what we call a yak. Man, and you're giving an effort ward tonight. He goes to Hyman Drinker. Well, in that time, he ran 60 to get one. <laughs> <laughs> he must that's, be tired. That's not much of an exaggeration either, Joey. <laughs> Talk about Mr. J.J. Okay. Now they're going to give him actually two yards on that run. It'll be second and eight, so. Great job by Hyman Drinker oh, now. now gonna Another it, false start. Give it back minus that three. That hurts, yeah. Got to watch those penalties. Yep. Yeah, you just can't shoot yourself in the foot too much against TJC. They'll make you pay for it. Absolutely. Like any good team would, but 
A lot of penalties tonight have been thrown the cards way. So you go to your second down and 13 call now. Here we go. Well, I tell you what, I like the tight ends right now. Yeah. For a second down and long call, get something over the middle of them and make it a manageable third down. There's a pass downfield. Ooh. Way over the head of the intended receiver for the Cardinals. That was Drinker, I believe. Yeah, I thought, was. I thought he was the middle guy. No, that well, was 84. Okay, that was 84. That was Jameer Davis again. We got fourth and long. <laughs> Jameer caught a 60-yard touchdown pass okay. last week against in the win against Air Force Prep. Yes, yeah, so it was third down. And, yeah. and you're right, Wallago, that receiver, the tight end was yeah, open. Wide open, yeah. So Darion Peace, third down here, drops back to pass. Delay blitz. From the right side, thrown downfield. Oh, that and flag. Oh, there comes you. the flag. That'll be an automatic yeah. first down. Yeah. yeah. And that was uh, J.J. Akote again well, getting the flag call against Yeah, it looks like T.J.C. is going to bail the Cardinals out this time. Yeah. yeah, they needed that. It's our time. <laughs> <laughs> it's our time. Well, it's about time those even out just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, most definitely because they're getting lopsided on the Cardinals side right now, but now it's evened out just a tad with TJC committing that infraction, and that'll be a Cardinal first down at the 48-yard line on the Apaches. This is a great place to take a shot right here. The ground, the ground game's working, but you can take a shot right here. There's a little pass out in the flats down the right left sideline, and that's going to be good enough for a first down for the Cardinals. And good run. And that's uh, Rayshon Glover. Get him, Glover. What a nice block by Dylan Robinson, number 16 as well. Yeah, Dylan Robinson actually spraying Glover open for a little bit more yardage on that play, getting the first down for the Cardinals. That's the way you hit the hole. This is the drive the Cardinals need here in this second session of the second half. Cardinals going to have two wide receivers to the near side and two to the far side here stacked. And he gets seven out of it. Back in the backfield, they're kind of spreading the TJC defense out here for the run. Ooh. And they were ready for it. Yep. A big number 95 in on that tackle for the Apaches. That was Mumphrey's first carry. He's the speed of the three of the four backs. And you brought him in here after you kind of think you've worn down the TJC defense just a bit. Yeah, number 95, Alessandro Karate. He, he's a big individual down there on that so, defensive line. Put some, piece, put some karate on him, dude. <laughs> Second and 12 for Darian Peace and the Cardinals. Back to pass under duress. Has a man wide open, caught complete. Oh, oh they're going to no. say he took a knee took after a he knee. caught it. Oh, my. But he picks up a first down. That's the key point right there. He picks up the reception and the first down, more important. Darian did a great job just getting that pass exactly. off. I don't see how he did it. If he could have – yeah, he, 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 over, he, he underthrew him, but ooh. Our guys to show us that one again right here. Watch this right here. Yeah, he, he didn't have time to set his feet. Yeah. Three defenders coming right at him, and he barely gets that off. Yeah, he was pressing. So let's see if he was on. Yeah, he was had the knee Ooh. down right there. Here comes a run. It's Mumphrey. And Mumphrey on the run. He'll get close to the 30. They're going to call him down at the 29. I mean, excuse me, the 21-yard <laughs> line. 29. Uh, getting a little late. Ball down by Mr. Karate again. Well, at least you can say the 52-yard line like we heard last night in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wondering where that came from. <laughs> Second down, eight yards to go for the Cardinals. They're going to go with two wide to the right, two to the left, man in motion out of the backfield. They're going to get called for a false they're, start. They're just off tonight on that on that snap. That is just not yeah, it's throwing it's throwing the whole timing of the offense off also. That's about three times now we've seen the Cardinals go from having second and eight to third and third uh, to second and thirteen. That snap needs to come more crisp. When you talk about the opening game of the season, and then you go to the opening game of conference play, the nerves are up here. You know what's on the line. So I imagine some of these young men are kind of getting a little bit nervous, but they're getting a little bit too nervous too often. Peace, back to pass, fires one oh, incomplete. Penalty marker coming in. That's going to be pass interference. Cardinals coming in defensive holding. Yeah, that, that's going to be on 23, I believe. So, if that's true, TJC's bailing out the Cardinals once again. Oh. Uh, ben Rock Ia there. Keep on bailing. Yep. 
He that's, can, that's a good call right it, there. It was a good call. So now a second and 13 is going to end up being first down. And sometimes you got to do that, Joe. If you feel like you're getting burnt, it's, instead of the touchdown, well, you got to yeah, get flagged. It's better to do that than take the six. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. That's what he did, too. So the ball will be spotted on the 11-yard line. Excuse me, 16-yard line. I'll get that right in a minute. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> I'm off five yards in my head right now. Yeah, you ready to eat. Peace back to pass. Surveys the field. Incomplete. Oh, my. Well, he's hit a little bit late there, but he's decked. TJ, she's doing a great job of getting pressure here on this last part of this drive here, Joey. Yeah, they really are. And Ziggy Lowell right there down. Maybe it's just a cramp, we hope. Yeah. You hope he doesn't have a cramp, but you, the, the other things it could be. Uh, he was the one coming in giving pressure that time. And temperature is changing like that. That yeah. you got to wonder if it is a cramp, but. Like they yeah, like the it, it's, yeah, they're treating for the cramps. I was kind of wondering where we're going to see our first case of the cramps tonight. Now yeah. we see it. So it's a great, <laughs> it's a great, great opportunity for the Cardinal offense to reset now, catch its breath, re refocus, and get this punches into the end zone. It definitely is a good point there. And if you're Trinity Valley right here, you've got to have points on this drive. Folks, this looks like it might be an extended timeout. So if our guys in the truck are ready, we're going to take a break real quick here and be back in about 30 seconds. Trinity Valley Community College, a place where you can realize your dreams, jumpstart your future, be successful. Trinity Valley Community College, a place where you can. Welcome to the Valley. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White, Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. All right, folks, welcome back to Bruce Field here in Athens, Texas. You've got the Trinity Valley Cardinals and the TJC Apaches. Highway 31 rivalry here. All knotted up at 10 apiece with 7.02 left to play in the third quarter. That young man being helped off the field to play. And we talked about it a while ago uh, before the young man went down. This is, or after he went down, this is a good time for TVC to reset things here and maybe come up with something to punch it in the end zone on this very play. And this drive started on the Cardinal 18 yard line after the interception. So looking to capitalize on the turnover. Another good defensive play by the Cardinals. Uh, it looks like the Cardinals are going to put two down here at the near side of the field receivers, and then they're going to put one at the right. Watch maybe a slant pattern here from the Cardinal quarterback, Darian Peace. Hope that young man from TJC is okay. Yes, sir. Peace back to pass. Looks middle, throws middle. Oh, it's picked off oh, in the end my. zone. My oh, lands, whoa, Nelly. For the second time tonight. Oh, my goodness. He tried to hit Dylan Robinson on the post pattern, the skinny post pattern, but he wasn't there. Wow. That's a backbreaker. Yeah, it really is. That, that takes the wind out of your cell right there. And now the defense, of course, they're well rested now. Well, yeah, they should be. We'll come back on the field to play for the Cardinals. Oh, that's four interceptions now this year the Cardinals, Cardinals have had in, either in the end zone or deep in the red zone. Yeah, and you've got you've to gotta help your defense out by scoring some points right there. And, here you see at home, folks, Peace just looks at the same receiver downfield, and the defender was just breaking in on it, and he just yeah. jumped the route. That was well played. Yeah, well played by the defender for TJC, and that was number 23, Burnock Ia. Patches had about the 20-yard line, so the Cardinals took it and drove it from the 18 down inside the red zone, but were turned away by TJC's, TJC's defense. All right, Pete in the backfield at quarterback again for the Apaches. And 
This is going to be a handoff to the right side. And a little stretch play, not getting too much. That was number 20 on the carry. So Butler gains about four for the Apaches on that run. It'll be second down and six up and coming. Sniffing again, probably closing in on double digits and oh, tackles. Gotta be. I've been marking them. Pete back to pass this time under duress. Hit as he's thrown, but it gets oh. it off. Mm -hmm. And it is completed. And my goodness, after the run, that was Trey Taylor. They've Look. got they've got some guys yeah. that can flat move they, to tell you. they do at the wide receiver position for TJC unreal they get it and they shake and bake you know if you're your quarterback you got to love that too because they're so elusive you're not afraid to throw them the ball because they can catch it and make something happen out of nothing basically first and ten back to pass Pete play action got ten a time Cardinal secondary doing a good job and Pete's going to call his own number and he's going to step out of bounds at the corner. Ooh, really I'm going to say, don't get no penalty right there. I'm so impressed with the maturity of Pete at the quarterback position. Yeah. He studied, he looked down the field, studied all his options, said, I don't have anything. I'll just take it out of bounds. Don't throw the ball away. Get a, get a little gain, gain out of it. Great job. Yeah, right. he didn't take it out of his team's hands at all right there. And like you said, he did a fabulous job just going out of bounds and picking up yardage, too. Yeah, gained four yards on the play. <laughs> Two wide receivers left, two to the right for TJC. There'll be another pass. And again, there's the there's the Woo. receiving ability, the run after the catch, and goodness gracious. Carter's in position to make a play, but hesitated to make the tackle. Yeah. And, and Gabe Adams, up. once he gets it, just shoots through three defenders for the Cardinals, basically untouched on that left side before he's knocked out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Well, now, not a good sign. Look at that number of Cardinals have their hands on their hips down there down there. Yeah, down. that's yeah. hard. Yeah. Davion, I mean, Davion Scott with the saving touchdown. Here's that play again, and just a little swing-out pass, and you let your speedy receiver just run right through oh, the defenders. Yeah. Right now Pete going to hand the ball off to Johnson. Johnson down at the seven-yard line. Cardinals. Good job by the interior part of the Cardinal defense that time. I think that might have been number 97. That was Byron Mathis. Yeah. On the tackle. He had a good game against Snow that night over in Malakoff. We were calling him the wrong name that right. night. We were yes, apologizing for it because we knew we didn't have it right. Eichley in the backfield. There's a pass, a little fade route to the end zone, and I believe it's going to be, let's see, caught for the touchdown. Oh and if you got to wait that long to make a call. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see this again to see, but seventeen. Been a lot of controversial calls on that sideline over there all night. Touchdown will stand. What a turnaround! Yep. Bowser on that touchdown catch. That kick is <coughs> up and good by Baxter. And with 4:33 remaining in the third, TJC goes ahead of Trinity Valley, 17 to 10. I believe we're going to have – I thought we had a flag on the on that play. Well, that's two times now we've seen the Cardinals turn the ball over in the end zone, and TJC has driven the ball the length of the field scored. and scored. So that's hats off to TJC there. Yeah. He lost his helmet and everything on that play. So they're going to have to re-kick this after illegal substitution. Flag thrown a little late for illegal substitution, though, but – now the Apaches appear to go to the swinging gate now get back into formation. Actual attempt, a 25-yard PAT, and another flag comes in. Goodness gracious. Eventually one of these account. <laughs> I think they're going to get them this time with a false start, and they do. And wow. Baxter's saying, come on, guys. Huh? Got a good leg, but don't push me back to the 50. Getting back to that touchdown, though, the Apaches love that route on that close range toss down there from Pete. Oh, they do. And then, you know, as you, if you're a defender, you got to get your head turned back around as well to make that play. And that time, Trinity Valley just didn't do that. 
Now a 30-yard PAT attempt by Baxter. <laughs> and this may be a 35-yard attempt on this next play. Stop us if you heard this before. There's a flag on the play. <laughs> And again, it'll be a false start. Wow. The special teams for TJC is falling apart. What are they doing? Look at what the record for link, link longest PAT in conference history is. <laughs> well, right, right. And who would know that, too? <laughs> well, I, yeah. I mean, I've been around for 40 years, and I don't know what it yeah. is. Yeah. And now we've got a 35-yard attempt up and coming here. I'll tell you what, the kicker getting a good workout right now. <laughs> Low snap, Baxter gets it up. Plenty of leg and good. You give me four cracks at it, fellas, I'll make it. Hey, yeah, right, he, yeah, he, yeah, he hey, made it, too. Hey, yeah, he got some warm-up kicks beforehand, but he puts it through. 17 to 10, our score, 433 remaining here at Bruce Field, Athens, Texas. This conference opener tonight, Southwest Junior College Athletic Conference. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. You can't you can't turn the ball over, and especially not when you're in the red zone. Right. No, no, it's and dangerous. it's not going to help you win many games either. I mean, the game against uh, Snow, Malakoff overcame some turnovers there, and excuse me, Trinity Valley overcame some turnovers of Malakoff in that <laughs> first game of the season, and ended up winning that one. There's still a lot of game left to play, but but even that night we see that defied the odds, though. Yeah, that yeah, that was that was something different. As Marcus bust my eardrum out with his cough <laughs> <laughs> Hit the wrong cough button. <laughs> it's dark in there now. <laughs> but the pressure goes back on the Cardinal offense now. You've got to, you've got to answer. Because if you don't, TJC has shown it's very capable of driving the ball the length of the field against you. Yeah, or a big kickoff return right here for a touchdown helps as well. We'll see what happens. Another pooch kick looked like it's going to be. They may do that. They've done it a couple of times tonight. Cardinals do have a lot of green out there out there that they leave open because you can only cover so much so many much area. Eldrick Griffin and Hyma Drinkard are deep in their own territory to receive this kick. And this will be Baxter once again from his own 35. And yeah, they don't want the Cardinal speed to have any chance at return on the return. Field is a 25 oh. and Wow. That's good coverage there, considering yep. no deeper than they kicked it. Well, they yeah. helicoptered him, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> yep, they stopped him pretty quick in this track. It'll be interesting to see what running back that the Cardinals go to here in this situation. Then they're going to keep the quarterback. His piece coming out. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, we talked about the running back, but maybe now you think about the quarterback, but Peace is going to come He's back coming. out. There you go. You got to go with your gunslinger. I mean, Peace. Cardinal's going to run three wide receivers from the far side of the field, one to the left. Drinkard is the running back, however. Drinkard's going to stay in at running back, as Benny said, and Peace pulls it out of the hands of Drinkard, then throws it downfield to a wide open Drinkard. Here he goes. He won't be caught. Touchdown, what, Cardinal. What a play call. What a play call. Well, it's, it's a play action pass to your running back. It, it, you know, it's a great call because everybody's expecting run and then Drinker doesn't get the ball. Peace pulls it out. Drinker goes on a route downfield and touchdown. You got your manhood back there. <laughs> <laughs> he got it, man. That's right. Good well, I, play. Didn't know, I didn't know we were going that far tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, it went far with that one, man. That's all right, though. As it gets later, we may go further. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like the uh, Cardinals are out there. Holder. Holder. Oh, my. I know coaches, coaches got to be. This what we need is another penalty on an extra yeah. point. I'd rather not see that. <laughs> We got plenty of time. Their Cardinals got plenty of time. Yeah, they do. 25 seconds on the play clock. And um, <clears throat> the kick is up and good. Back to back. And time powers again, Mr. Automatic. What an answer. What a play call. Yes, what a play call. Yes, well, sir. if you're the Cardinals, you needed it and you got it. And there he goes. Sneaks out, Jordan. Nobody knows. Watch Nobody this. Owned. Watch this. Yeah, Darion a... sold it by rolling out the opposite direction. And Hyman ran the greatest wheel route you'll ever see. Yeah, it was. It just perfectly set up. <laughs> And no one's going to catch yeah. him in the open field. Yeah, he made JJ, JJ, Cote, yeah. <laughs> he made JJ fold up a little bit and say, go ahead, go on in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the linebacker, and that was the linebacker's coverage, but he got he got sucked up on that fake. Look at the the sideline erupt, too, when they saw it. Look at the stands. Oh, yeah. All up. Cardinal Big game cheer. right here. That's that's nice. What a, what, a, what, a, what a camera angle, guys. Oh, yeah. Love it. You guys are killing it tonight. They're killing it. 
4-9 left in the third quarter, 17-17. Not it up once again, y'all. Al Tamarano wow. will tee it off for the Cardinals. This game was game. this there's no way this game was going to disappoint. There's no, no. no way this no, game was going to no, disappoint. No. no, no. And it could have very easily been 14-0 Cardinals inside the first three minutes of the game. You're exactly yep. right. And there's Al Tamarano's kick. We fielded at the two-yard line. You oops, gotta, oops, you oops, watch oops, oops. Here. He's slippery as an eel. Still oh. on his feet. Now we got a little ball. Oh, ball's bumble. free. He's giving him the business. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have the business call again. And guess who got the ball, Joy Hammond? Uh, drink, drink it again. Mm -hmm. And the Cardinals look like they recovered it, let's but see. let's yeah, see. Drink it. There's several players on the field. And there's down a on the field. TJC player down, by the way. So let's not make light of it. So holding is the call against TJC. Uh -oh. Now they're, they're probably saying that the ball was. That the runner was down by contact. I think so. We'll get a look at it here. We'll yeah, check that out again. And they're stepping it off, so they're going to say he was down by contact. But mm. It was very close. It was a bang bang play. Now the Cardinal defense. Once again, is going to have to make a play. When it's the bow neck, it's time to make a stand again. Yeah, and that that could be a big loss there for TJC. Further down in this game, too, that's uh, Arabia Bradford going yeah, out. Absolutely. Young man has had a great season thus far. And electrifying. And look at the footwork on this guy. Came in, came in tonight's game with nine catches and 127 yards and a touchdown. Here it is right here. And this is where he hurts his ankle. Yeah. Oh, the ball the came ball loose. Up. Yeah, ball that, that was a fumble. Ball oh, up. that very well could have been a fumble there. Yeah, that, that, that should have been a fumble right there. It wasn't called. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. We may be under the hood tonight, folks, if we were had instant right. replay. Well, yeah, I, I would like <laughs> to Take it to the hood. Uh, we saw the replay here. It clearly shows the ball pops out before he's on the ground yeah. and down. When he that got should hurt. have been the Cardinals yeah. football. Yeah, when he got hurt, he released it. Ooh. He was like, oh, that could have been big, too. Oh, that would have been big. Now Pete takes TJC, going to hand the ball off. Good quick hitter by the TJC, though, to pick up four yards, three nice, yards on the Nice point. tackle right there for the Cardinals, Davion Scott. Mr. Scott, Mr. Deuce Deuce himself. Three-yard pickup, second down and seven. Three minutes and change left here in this third quarter at Brucefield in Athens, Texas on this Saturday night, a beautiful Saturday night. That replay again. Take a look again right here. He's not down, All and there up. goes the ball. Yeah, they, they missed that one. There's a little toss to the left to Johnson, and Johnson Ooh. scoots his way close to first down yardage. That clip will be sent in to the head officiating <laughs> guru in the conference. As well it should. And I'm just wondering when they're going to get instant replay in junior college. Football. Well, they talked about it at the coaches' meeting this year back in July, and I thought they were going to be. But I think that was basically just to review targeting and, and nothing else because targeting is the most substantial penalty because a kid has to miss that half right. of a yeah. game in the half of the next game. Right. But I could be wrong on that. But I thought they had agreed to it, but maybe it fell through at the last minute. You kind of expect a, in conference play anyway that they might have instant replay. They got everywhere else. So Back to pass is Pete. Great patience. And, and Pete's going to have to pick this up with his feet. And, and he does. And that's what he do. And he's going to be of it. marked down at the 40-yard line, so an eight-yard run by Pete. Very Man. patient runner as well. He is. I'm, I, I, the maturity he shows in the pocket is just, just greatness. And when he gets outside the pocket even. Right. And, and, and when he gets outside that pocket, you don't know if he's going to still <laughs> pass right. it down for right. or not. So you got to still respect the pass, and then you got to respect his feet. Dual threat quarterback. TJC on the move. Two receivers left and right. Pete looks left, throws left, has a man, caught complete, first down, and a little bit more. Too much cushion. Right. Pay it off on two. <gasps> oh, hold him up. Give him some. Well, they, they threw a punch at him. Yeah. yeah. Well, they gave him the business, and it wasn't called. <laughs> <laughs> you said, like, okay, take this. <laughs> Grant Perrette's there. He was. Yeah. Right in front of the TJC uh, bench. Hey, folks, TJC's threatening to get right back on top in this one. Well, we we could have. Oh, I'm not going to say the 45-point game, but it, it looks like now it could be a shootout. Pete back to pass. Looks right. Under duress. Hit as he's thrown. Incomplete. Good hit. That is a great play for the Cardinal defensive lineman. And that's 97 again, Byron Mathis. Big Mathis. Byron Mathis. That's his Is that 97 or 88? It looked like big 97. Okay. I, I could be wrong. 
97. Yeah, 97. Yeah, we ain't got no 98 on there. 97 we've got that black that black shirt underneath there. Here's another replay. I thought it was 88 Ramonte Blow. Well, it might have been Ramonte Blow. He had the white shirt on. Yeah. That yeah, that was Blow. Mr. Blow. Glad the replay guys are here. It makes me look <laughs> foolish. Anyway. It makes me look foolish either one. So there's a quick hitter right there on the outside. Call complete. Looked like a block in the back. Yeah. Not called. There's a block in the back. Oh, my. Yeah, Canada's asking about that, too, because he, he read the play. David to it. That was Gabe Adams on the reception. Big third down, third down and six. Yeah, this is a big third down, too, for the Cardinals. Don't let them pick up any yardage. They may decide to punt, in, punt you deep into the, into the field. Johnson in the backfield. Probably going to expect a pass here out of Pete. Mic check. Awesome. There we go. Got to watch Taylor down here. He's the lone receiver to the near side of the – Two seconds on the play clock. Side. And they're going to hand it off. Oh, my. Oh. Look, that goes nowhere. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Good There's, there he is, there with Ravante is. Blow. No yeah. doubt about that yeah. this time. That's right. That's he gave blow, blow right there. Yeah, he gave that was blow. blow the second time. Yeah, the, the punt team's time. coming on the field, too. Good job by the Cardinal defense. Oh, Benny, on third down, and TJC decides to run. Yeah, try to catch him off guard, I wow. guess. Oh, yeah. I think they thought they would pick up some positive yardage and go for it on fourth down. That's usually what that means if you run the ball on third down. Sure, that? right. Well, blow blew it. You so got to be careful. For you got to be TJC. You got to be yeah. careful here. You got to be careful. And respect, respect this play. Make sure they punt. Put some respect in their name. Colin Randall will punt the ball, and it's a wobbler. Get away from it. It's going to take a favorable TJC bounce. Yeah, but this Cardinals ball though. And that's a great point. Cardinals football at their own 12-yard line. Woo, a score right here. I'll settle me down a little bit. Hey, you've got 37 seconds left to play in the third, 17 to 17, here at Bruce Field in the conference opener for both of these teams. And wow, I mean, we're in store for a dandy of a finish here. The fourth quarter should be spectacular. Of course, the first three quarters have been pretty dead gum good itself. Cardinal offense has got to be careful here. No, no mental mistakes and no turnovers, obviously. Darion Peace back at quarterback after a beautiful pass while ago to a wide open Hyman Drinker on the wheel route out of the backfield. Peace is going to give the ball to his running back. And that's Clarence Dalton on the run. Cardinals have used four running backs tonight. Thompson, Dalton, Drinker, and Mumphrey. So second down and five after a five-yard pickup. Coming up on the end of the third quarter. Yeah, and I think Trinity Valley is just going to oh, yeah. be content with letting this clock run completely to zero and go to the fourth quarter with yeah. the score being tied 17-17, to 17, folks. Hmm. And let's step away for some message from our sponsors when we we'll back here for Cardinal football on the Cardinal Sports Network. Long before the craving hit you, when nothing else will do but Texas barbecue, we were way ahead of you. Dickie's Barbecue Pit satisfies your craving, delivered where you want it, when you want it. Order online or use our app, Dickie's Delivers. When I was first diagnosed with multiple myeloma, you had a 30 to 40% chance to live four years. Well, here I'm 15 years out from my transplant, and I'm doing all this stuff still. When the doctor came in the next morning, he said, you don't even look like you had surgery. I said, thank you. This makes you look forward to every day. I mean, you know, something knocks you down, you just get up and keep on moving. Go live. I'm being revamped. Here's to those who never settle. Tell us one thing you love about that meaty sandwich. Go. Cheesecake. Well, OK. The bread, the soccer mm. bacon, the lettuce. That's like four things. And the tomato, and the sauce, it's so good. There you go, Schlotzky's. It's a mouthful. All right, folks, welcome back to a dandy of a football game. 
in the first conference opener for both of these ball clubs, Trinity Valley and TJC. We're at Bruce Field here in Athens, Texas. If you're just joining us, 17 to 17, our score. Guys, we thought it would be a <laughs> high scoring affair. Yeah, we did. But it's kind of been a low scoring affair. But it's been entertaining. Oh, yeah. So we'll see what happens here in the fourth quarter as somebody's conference O has to go. That's right. Today. Second and five. This is going to be another handoff. And well read by TJC. Yeah. Well read. Yeah, that was my number six. That was Zion. Mr. Funa. Third down and seven up and coming for Trinity Valley. Need to pick this one up. Flip the field if nothing else. Peace going to pass this football. Throws down the right side. Ooh. Here comes a penalty uh -oh. marker yeah. flying see, in. See some love. Yeah, look at look at the receiver's jerseys was pulled off his shoulder pad. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's, he had to do some adjusting there. <laughs> we'll take it. TJC's hey. going to bail out the Cardinals again. They bailed us it, out. It looks like it. it defensive, the defensive back right there, uh, Burnock Ia. Gave our receiver the business. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be our theme for the night, I yeah. think. Oh, yeah. I like it. We'll run with it. <laughs> Probably because we can't think of anything else. Well, I, know. <laughs> I think about the folks on the receiving end of it may not think it's quite as funny as we do, but well, well, it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> It's a Saturday night, folks, in Athens, Texas. This is what we do for entertainment. That's what we do. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Eight times. First down and ten for the Cardinals after that defensive hold. Cardinal fans up on their feet yes, right sir. now cheering on their Cardinals. Cardinals now 14-28 left to play in this ball game, tied up 17-17 with TJC. Going to be another handoff. Ooh. TJC starting to stuff the run a little bit now. Just a little bit. Eldrick Griffin with that Sue Strain tackle right there. Man. Need to pick up more than that on first down. You'd like to open up your playbook a little bit more. Yeah, that's, that was Dalton on the carry again. And got to wonder what's happening here on this play. Maybe a pass up and coming here for the Cardinals. Little play action. Dalton squirts out of the backfield. Peace looks downfield, fires downfield. Another holding call should be coming in on that one, That's but it, it wasn't. Oh, TJC is doing a great job of getting pressure with his front lineman. They're not having to blitz in, on some of these plays, and that's really causing the Cardinals some problems, especially affecting Darion's time in the pocket. We got some laundry, though. Yeah, I believe it's going to go against Trinity yes. Valley for holding. That's what it was. Make this second down and 20 here, second down and 19. My. TJC may decide to take the down. I would take the distance here, playing a field position type game. Yeah, it looks like you're right, Benny. They're going to take the distance here and make it third down and or second, second down, yeah. excuse me, in 19. Second and 19. Oh, man. Well, if you're the Cardinals, you don't want to have to pick it all in one play. You get half of it back and then work on it from there. A little screen pass might here might work. They the Cardinals don't throw a lot of screen passes. They throw that hit screen occasionally. Dalton in the backfield, four wide receivers, piece. Nope. Oh, my goodness, what a hit right there. Oh, a little bit too high. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there comes a late flag in. <laughs> late yeah, I'm not yeah. real late. No, it's a late flag. I'm kind of curious to see what this is going to be. It well, I don't like know. I don't know if it was, it was the hit or was it a little taunting that went on afterwards. Yeah, I, I'm not sure either. I didn't see him leading with the crown of his helmet, which that would be an automatic ejection. Well, I think they're going to throw the flag and, and call that, and then they can talk him out of it. They will do that, and I think that's what's going on right here. I think this is probably some pretty good officiating that's going on right here without having seen the replay or anything. I, yeah, here comes here we go, the here, replay. Here comes we'll replay. definitely see it right here, what happens. They got him with the shoulder. Yeah, he got him with the shoulder. Yeah, they're waving it off. That's yeah. good That's good officiating right there. That official did the right thing with throwing the flag as late as it was. Yeah. He yeah. deserved a conversation anyway. Right. right. That's good officiating. Yeah, I, hats off to the officials there. That's yeah, that, that could have went either way, but, you know, it was a clean hit. He didn't leave with the crown of his nope, helmet. No. Nope. So, and we've seen that. I've seen that most of the day today watching college football, and one player was actually ejected because he led with the crown of his head. You can't do that. Um, and he got ejected for not only the remainder of that game, but the next half of the following game as well. Like Ben said, that's why they want that replay. 
So third down and a long ways to go for the Cardinals. Yeah, you got big Cardinals here. You don't want to turn the ball over. If the very you want to, you don't mind if you have to punt the ball. You can flip the field on with with James Allen, but you don't want to turn it over down here. TJC going to be <coughs> playing in a zone coverage here. TJC with a four-man defensive front. P steps up in the pocket, throws one down. Field got him, got him. Oh, my goodness. First down, Cardinals. What a catch. Oh, he's made you flag to take his helmet off. Well, I, I think his helmet yeah, fell, yeah, fell off. Okay, 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 okay. The Theo Emmett Smith rule there. Yeah. <laughs> That's Rayshon Glover on oh the catch. Oh, my goodness. He, would, he had the glove that time. What a big-time throw and even a big-time catch it was for Rayshon Glover. It was a big-time throw, man. That's a big boy throw there. Like a glove. Man. What now the play. Cardinals can kind of get back to a little running game if they want to here. Let's see what happens. They're going to give it to the oh. running. Oh, oh, a fumble on the play. Oh, no. He, he fell on it. Oof. He fell on it. Oh, that's the last, the yeah, last thing you want to happen. Oh, yeah, that, that's yeah, yeah, Dalton let it squirt out of his hands right there. And you've got to. Oh. I think you're going to bring sure-handed Quincy, Quincy back in here. Yeah. And I would suggest that or Hyman Drinker. <laughs> Either one. You can't have that ball stripped out of your hands. That's, that's the most prized yeah. possession tonight right now. No gain on that. Well, I give him a gain of one. And Quincy Thompson on the field now to the left side of Darian Peace, the Trinity Valley quarterback. Peace going to roll to his left, throws it down the middle. Oh, it's ill it by Yeah, 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 yeah. That was trying to pick it in between. Yeah, that's the case of him trying to force again in a yeah. double coverage. You just you don't want to do that. Well, I think he was affected by the pressure. Wouldn't yes, you? yes, very much so that right defensive end came barreling through. He had to step up and then force him to make a bad throw. Having played quarterback, certainly not at the level these guys do. <laughs> <laughs> but pressure will affect your decision-making process. Well, pressure bust pops. <laughs> it bust pops. Like he got a little limp, too. Third down and nine up and coming down for the Cardinals. At the very least, the Cardinals have flipped the field anyway. They have a chance to put Tyler in bad field position. That's a great point. Back to pass. Throws one down. Has a man wide open. Oh, oh just underthrown. Oh, my goodness, through his hands. And I believe that was Glover again. Oh, my. Oh, he just beat him one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. And Glover. Got the punt this one. Glover looks like he may be shaking up a little bit coming off the field, but. Watch it. Here we see it one more time. I thought the ball went right through his hands. He should have. Yeah, he's saying. having to come over for it, and then he has to extend yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it was catchable. It was yeah. catchable, but I'm not going to say he should have caught it. Yeah, maybe you let him a little bit too much to the inside, but uh, that was there. But it gives Tr Trinity Valley does have good field position. They're going to – TJC is going to call a fair catch inside the 15-yard line. Wow. This, this has just been a great ball game. This is a great ball game. It just reminds me so much of last year's game over at Rose Stadium. I love great ball games, but as I get older, I just I don't know how much I can take of it. Well, Especially well. if you're rooting for you, the been, home been, team. You've been a little spoiled on the high school front with yeah. the games that you call on Friday uh, nights the last exactly 15 right. years. <laughs> yeah, this is a different, different ball game. 17-17, 12-16 17, remaining in this one. We're all knotted up 17 apiece. Cardinal defense out of here now. <laughs> Going to try to stop TJC again. We're knotted up in more ways than one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> From the gut yeah. on up. <laughs> Muscles are tensed up. We may have to hire a masseuse to come up here with us. <laughs> Pete, the quarterback, is going to – Oh, my goodness, the quarterback draw. play by Pete, and he's going to give him a first down and a little bit more. Sorry, Joey, but by the old, middle just opened up. Yeah, it did. Yeah. That's a perfect call for that right there. The Red Sea was parted. Yeah, it <laughs> definitely you. was. And he walked through it. Well, big, up, big, big first down pickup for the Apaches. Nice job. Yeah, they marked him down at the 30. And Put it at the 30 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good, well-designed play call for the quarterback, Pete. Pete's going to go back to pass this time. Throws it flat-footed and launches it about 60 oh. yards. Uh. The, the defender played that perfectly. He yeah, played off the main playoff, and then he turned around and recognized yeah. and had a chance to intercept the pass. A great defensive yeah. play he right there. Up. He's like, oh, I should have had that. Yeah, that was number yeah. 30 for yeah, the Cardinals. Yeah. 
Jalen Hampton. And great defensive play. We saw him make a great interception against uh, Snow over on the far sideline over in Malakoff that season opener. Just watch it right here. He plays on the inside Ooh. and does what a defender's supposed to do. Beautiful play. Pete again going to call his own number. He's going to gain some yard. I thought they had a hold right there on the outside. And He's coming down. Back. That place really hurt the Cardinals here yes, down there in this drive. Brought down by our son, Glover. I made 20. Kendrick. Yeah, Ike Lee having some more to the Cardinals there. And TJC's flipped the field now. They've got it back yep, in the field. Back in the middle. Two wide receivers to the left and two to the right for the Apaches. Lee in the backfield, Pete the quarterback. Pete, mm. fires complete. And again, that's Gabe Adams on the reception. Stop by Sean Connor. Good for seven and to bring up second down and three for the Apaches. 11-9 and rolling here Ooh. in the final stanza. TJC has a Cardinal defense playing on his heels a little bit now. Yeah. Well, with Pete starting to run, you're right. It's freezing up the linebackers now. And, oh, well, I tell you. Yeah, you need to spy on the quarterback right now. Pete, play action. Throws to the right side. Wide open. Caught incomplete. That's Adams again. Well, Adams just runs the defender off and cuts, and yeah. cuts back and catches the ball. Excuse me. That was Trey Taylor, not Adams. Taylor, my bad. No, that was my bad, actually. <laughs> I was following your lead. I led you into it. <laughs> I do you like that a lot. Too. <laughs> <laughs> so another first down for the Apaches. Clock is ticking with ten and change left. Yeah. Nerve breaking here. Ben, but don't break. There's a snap, and that time Adams gets the ball and. On the reception, he's down at the 25-yard line. TJC offensive coordinator is calling a beautiful drive right here. He really is. And he's utilizing the legs of his quarterback on most of this drive as well to keep the defense honest. Like Robinson on that top. Pete. Looks downfield, has a man. Holding. And it's going to be intercepted in the end zone by the Cardinals. That's just what you wanted. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, goodness. I thought and the Cardinals got away with the grab. And I, I don't see any flags. No, there's the field, no flags. Guys, there's so no flags. They're not letting they're not That's the old me. Mr. Scott again. They're not paying me to call the game. That's Davion Scott Davion once Scott. again with a big play for the Cardinals. We see that on the replay, though. You see if there's not just a little bit of a tug there on the jersey here. Here we go. I bet this shows it. End zone view right here, and no, oh, didn't see it, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't see it either. <laughs> okay, well then. Yeah, I think we all hungry. See how quick, see how quick they bail out on right me there. here. <laughs> well, these Snickers. See, see if you don't sit on this angle here, though. Uh, uh, no comment. Well, it's gonna be out of view. Nah, it's not a view there. That's that didn't help me. That didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> thank, 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 here you go. Here you go. This might be it. Yeah, they're trying to get it right. No, they're they're trying. This it. might be it. Your Honor. <laughs> this might be it. Uh. No, not there. Uh, okay. no. It a... You tried, guys. I yeah, appreciate thank it. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. First down and 10 for the Cardinals now. Going to be delayed handoff. This time couple of yards picked up. Drinker in the backfield. Drinker back out. Yeah, I think they're trying to set up a little play action here. They try to slip Drinker out of the backfield again. They got an 80-yard hookup with him earlier. Yeah, got another TJC player yeah, on the do. ground. You hate to see anybody get hurt, and then they're losing some key players, too. In this they really are. Game. On the defense, too. Yeah. And, you know, TJC in the first half didn't do too well against the Trinity Valley run, but here in the fourth quarter, they seem to be coming up with some answers for it. Yes, sir. And we'll see second down and eight up and coming, and Trinity Valley in those gray uniforms, new uniforms, red numerals. And what we thought was red, white, and blue is red, white, and black. Yeah, it is, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's, black, it's black, huh? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah pretty much it. Yeah. You know, when I walked by the sidelines earlier, I saw one of the players. I could have swore it was blue as well. I think you look at the flag. Yeah. Eyes are bad. <laughs> All I say is September 29th. <laughs> Side doctor point. <laughs> All right, resuming action now. Second down and eight for the Cardinals. We're still knotted up, 9.35 remaining to go. And if you'd ask us earlier, we'd said at least you need 35 <laughs> yeah, to 40 yeah, points to win yeah, this game. Yeah. That may not happen. Back to pass. Under duress. Oh, my. Wow. Well, he took the sack, but he, I thought he was going to try to chuck the ball away, which would have been intentional grounding because he was in the in the tackle box. Yeah, no one was in the area, it looked like, either as far as receivers go. So that's a big loss right there. It's going to be third down. Sacked by Aiden Cumbest. Third and 16 <laughs> for the Cardinals here. Not the ideal situation here because if you, if you have to punt from deep in the end here. Oof. Third and 16. See what Pease can get the Cardinals going here. A piece, oh, it's a nice play right there. Nice play by Pease to patiently let oh. this running back get oh, he set up. That's yeah. Drinkard, but. He had a chance to pick up the first down. I think if he would cut it to the outside of the field, he might yeah. have had a better option. option. Yeah, brought down by Mike Ray. Mm -hmm. But he didn't yeah. have a blocker that was trying to set up for him there on the inside. So that's the, that's the, probably the route to go. Yeah. At that time, Pease had a lot of patience letting that play right. develop and set up. That's a good job by Darion yes, right there. Yes, that was a good one. Into the third quarter in Austin is 10-10 Texas and Wyoming. Oh, my. Uh -oh. Been a lot of crazy uh, scores today. There have been, including here. Yeah. Oh, my, that was almost blocked, Oof, but what a it great block. is blocked. Oh. Trinity Valley oh, recovered it. Oh, man. Oh, my. Uh, 37 with the block. My goodness alive. That was Obi Arenze. Yeah. And, and I mentioned earlier that the game was turned last year on a special teams play, a kickoff return by the Cardinals. Have we seen that here with TJC blocking the punt tonight? Yeah, yeah James oh, Allen, I, I thought he worked a miracle. He eluded one would-be blocked punt right. by the defender and then tried to get it away, and then that time it was blocked. Deja vu. Well, the Cardinal defense is up against it here now. There's no doubt about that. They got 19 yards of the field to defend. Let's see how this happened right here. Yeah, just watch it right here. So, whoop. And he goes for the <laughs> – you, you don't oh, think yeah. anybody's there. Yeah, and yeah. He's not blocked. And Oh, my. Somebody might get a little uh, yeah. razzle-dazzle in the yeah. in the room yeah. <laughs> come well, Monday they, morning yeah. on that play. Somebody going to smell Coach Cologne. <laughs> Back in the day, that would result in some up and down. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, TJC now has the ball. First in and 10 are going to that two-back set now. Eight minutes exactly left in this one, folks. You got Johnson and Lee in the backfield. Now Johnson takes out. It's going to be a little swing pass in the backfield. You've got to be careful. That was behind the line. Uh, I scrimmage. think that was a lateral so. pass yeah. for sure. On down by David Tui. Be a loss on the play. That's what the Cardinals needed on first down. And that was Butler, not Johnson. But that was a dangerous play because he had to fumble that ball. Yeah, as good as the play calling as good as the play calling was on TJZ's last drive. I, I don't know about that one there. Yeah, and, and also, too, if he would have thrown that ball incomplete, well, not incomplete, if he had thrown it in the turf, it would have been a live ball. It sure would have. So second and 12. One-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside. Yeah, I smell something sitting over here. And they're going to give it to Lee here. I thought they'd do a little well, they had the perfect post play. They had, yeah, they had the perfect setup outside out there. The Trinity Valley playing that one deep safety, though, kind of, Probably deterred them from doing that. Probably so. You're right. I see that now. Big third down, though. You hold them to a field goal, it would be a win for the defense. Oh, yeah. Oh, huge, huge, huge third down right here. Probably the biggest of the game. Jaden Collins with the tackle. 6.55 left in the contest, folks. We're knotted up 17 apiece. Trinity Valley and TJC, if you're just joining Oops. us. And there's oh. a big penalty right there. He False was start. He was ready to go. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Jerome Bowser. Yeah. Bowser. Bowser. Well, it was a Wowser on that one because he's <laughs> yes, going to wow them back five. Yes, sir. A reference to Potsy and Fonzarelli there, that's right. I guess. Yes, Happy days. 
<laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, 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 I'm looking at the replay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there you go again. <laughs> My man. <laughs> yeah, well, well, he I, did it again. The same said, thing. As I said in the half, it, it's kind of different getting used to yeah. this. <laughs> Third down and a long ways to go. Pete looks middle, has a man on a fade route, incomplete too much, and that's fourth down. That's a four down. Ooh, ooh, big four down play. Hey. Four and, play and right now there. this is going to turn out to be close to a 40-yard field goal attempt here. He's going to got to go for it. About the length of his last extra point. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He had plenty of opportunities. 635 left in this one. Man, let's see here. So Christian ba Baxter, excuse me, comes on to attempt this field goal. A block will be good here. And they're going to. It's going to be a 39-yard attempt. I think he's got this. I, mean, I think he's got it within his range. Ooh, the fans are hollering. The snap is good. The hold is good. The kick is up. It's blocked. Blocked by Trinity Valley. All they got to do is scoop it up right here. Oh, my goodness. They, oh, get, they get the ball. but they, they, Yeah, they get the ball. That doesn't was matter. So, that was so set up for a return. Oh, though. my. I thought that was going to be six right there. Who got the block? Let's see that block. I got we'll have to go I back and it. watch it on the instant replay. A lot of. Woo. Jiving going on down there between the players. What a big play by the Cardinals. Special teams. Special teams, guys. Yeah, special special teams. teams. A block punt and now a block extra a field goal. You That's mentioned it. it last year. It's happening again. They blocked us. We block you back. Now, here are the Cardinals. Grunt, take this last six minutes off the clock and get you a field goal. We're going to see right here who comes in and initially blocks this kick. It's up the Ooh. middle. right? It's up, up the, the middle. Right yeah, the middle. you know, it – I believe that – I'm going to say that was number 88, Ravante Blow. I think it may have been. I, I think it was Blow that got through there and got his paws up. And we get a chance to see another angle on it sometime later on. We'll, we'll look at it, folks. Yeah, I, I believe that was Ravante But I got to, I got to say I called that we, one, y'all. We got action on the field now. I think I called that one, y'all. Y'all got to say that. Spoke in. Yeah, Marcus, you called <laughs> yeah, it. Called you did. It. Thank you. Yeah, there you Thank go. You. All right, Darion Peace has the Cardinals set up first down and 10 from their own 46. Peace back to pass. Nice job of surveying the field, and that's uh, going to be Glover again. Ooh. And I'll well, tell you what. The glove. I'm telling you what, Hyman Drinkard threw a block downfield that sprung him for about five or six extra yards. <laughs> yep. It did, and, and that's what you want from your receivers. <laughs> Hyman Drinkard's had himself a game tonight. Oh, yeah. He's all over the field. Yeah, and Rayshon Glover coming up big also for the Cardinals. Man. 6.09, you kind of get a feeling here. It's going to be a handoff, and that's Drinkard again, just carrying defenders Oh, forward. he's not coming down first contact. Just forget about that. It's a nice run of four yards right there for the Cardinals. More importantly, it makes that clock that dwindle clock down. That clock is winding, Joey. You we'll are so right. It. We'll take it. Keep on winding. Slow wind. 17, 17, not it up. Let's go like zero to zero. Really. Darion Peace doing a great job in this quarter right now. Being patient back there, finding the receivers that are open. There goes Drinkard again. He just squirts through for extra yardage. Well, he made something out of nothing there. That's a two yard gain. Picks up a big third down though, but you got two downs to make it right. Yes, sir. I mean, you don't you don't punt it from the four. Are you playing devil's advocate again? <laughs> <laughs> Well, ago you told me that well, I think <laughs> yep, I might yep, be yep, wrong. Yep, yep, yep. No, you're right. Hey, I'll agree with you. I would go for it on fourth down. <laughs> well, it depends on how much you pick up here, I think. I think if you at least pick up two or three, you go for it. Your defense is doing a really good job of defending the field. I don't know that an extra 20 yards is going to make that much difference. Peace back to pass. Out of the backfield. Caught complete, and that's the tight end again. Sweeten. Looks like he's got first down yardage. Woo, no, let's, let's, see. let's see. Who is that? Oh, yeah, move the chain. That's 81, Rowdy Godwin, actually. What a game he's having in back at home again. Yeah. Well, we'll see. 453 now. We have a Apache dead on the field. They give Cardinals a chance to find them, play on who they wanted in. Well, and it also gives them time them to think about what yeah. they want to call here on this first down. Yeah. You know, do you want to score fast here, or do you want to grind the clock down and score? I think you want to pick up four yards, four yards on first down, and yeah. just let the clock wind. There you go. I think you do. Let's go. I mean, the way that 
Where the Trinity Valley defense has been playing tonight, I, I wouldn't be afraid to go ahead and throw a quick one or, or get a quick score here either. But, but I'd like to see all that time melt away. I don't want to have to remind you, though, the Cardinals have turned it over twice tonight in the red, end zone. In the red zone. You're right. You're so right. Uh -oh. There's the devil's advocate. <laughs> <laughs> that devil will get you every time. Yeah, he gets you well. boy. He's a bad boy. Really so positive except for on, on no, game yeah, night. Yeah. <laughs> Other times he's positive. <laughs> yeah. But, no, he's right, and, and that is correct. I mean, and you hope that trend – breaks at this point here because you don't want to see that now. Think about what we've seen tonight. Both teams have had the interceptions, I think, in the end zone. Right. Both teams have blocked kicks. Whew. Both we've, teams have some really nice plays. We've, we've seen just about everything. And then the end result, fellas, is a 17-17 game with about four minutes and 35 seconds, 53 Whew. seconds left in the game. Here we go. What a great conference opener. They're about to hike the football, but can't do that right now to the players <laughs> yeah. off the field. Yeah, you got to get off the field. The crowd is stayed for this one, folks. Ain't nobody left. Oh, yeah. TJC still packed, and TBCC is definitely packed. Well, we haven't got a barn burn. We've had a well of a game We tonight. sure have. It's been a great one. Trinity Valley, man in motion. There's the handoff. A oh, great Drinker seal block. The left side. Great. He's got room. He's got one man to beat, and he's drugged down at the six-yard line. Oh, my, what a run. Great seal block. Get that young man's number. Six, is that 64? 64. That's going to be 60. No, there's not a 64. Let's look again right here. That's 54, uh, Benny Sebastian oh, Carter. What, what a seal block. Sebastian what Carter. a seal block that man, young and man made. Rowdy Gobbin on the outside also gets a good block to open that hole up. So you had a seal and a seal, and I wish to have my <laughs> right, right there. There you go. <laughs> and there goes Hyman Drinker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a seal and a seal. 403 left. Trinity Valley in that red zone. First and goal. Got to stick it in the end zone, fellas. A little slow oh, that's pass. A, that's, that's, a, that's a fumble. That's a fumble. There. That's a fumble. And, and I'm glad it went out of bounds. So. Ooh, I don't know about that. Now, ooh, that's the, against the short side of the field. Yeah, and you got a, you had a lot of pressure coming also. And ooh. That's that's not no 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 no. You no, got to no, sit no. down on that one. No no. Well, more important, but importantly, it keeps the clock running here. You're still in field goal range. I'm going to be Mr. Positive here. And it's just second and goal. What do you do right here, guys? Mm. Run it. You, you hold the ball. Is what you do. You hold on to it for dear life. <laughs> yeah. Ball spotted at the 15. Second and goal. Oh, oh, that's going to oh, back him up five. No. Oh, oh my go. goodness. They're playing right into TJC's hands now. The big fella moved there on that left side. Because it's not just second down. It's, it's second down and go from the just seven, 29. Uh, the 20-yard line. 21-yard line. 20. Yeah. I'll settle, I'll settle on one in here in a minute, folks. <laughs> 20. Wow. Oh, man. Oh. <sighs> Clocks are rolling here. A little over three and change left to play in this one. 17 apiece. Late handoff right here. They're bringing pressure from the backside. Pass down field. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding oh, me. Oh, my goodness. Another pick in the end zone. They're going to mark him out actually to two yard line. Oh, MG. Oh, I'm flabbergasted. Well, well we, just, we just said that earlier. Yeah. That's three in this game and five on the season. The Cardinals has been intercepted deep in the red zone. You just, you just got wow. to protect the football. Yes, sir. But defense has got to do its job now, too, though. And we're going to see it again and just kind of fake the hand off the drinker. Oh, yeah, just kind of under through that. And just, yeah, didn't get much zip on it at all. Should be spotted at about the two yard line, shouldn't it? Yeah, they marked him out at the two. and. That's a break for the Cardinals there now, yeah. too. He's got to handle the ball down yeah, there. You could potentially pick up a safety here. So. And we've seen a fumble earlier in the game, the very first play of the game, second play of the game. All right, now the Trinity Valley defense is going to be put to the test one more time with 3-0-1 left to play in this ball game. 17 apiece is the score. Certainly can't let him out of this hole. Out of the gun, there's going to be a quick oh. pass oh, on the slant. My. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. What a great first down call by the TJC. Yeah, it sure was. And and that was Trey Taylor again, one of their big name receivers for uh, TJC. Yeah, just gave him a lot of cushion right there. And that's, that's open every time if you'll take a close look at it. Defense got to step up here because the time is low. If they get in field goal position anyway, they can win this game. 
Cardinals with two timeouts left. TJC with three. Going to be a pass again and same route. again, same route. And Taylor again doing it all. Nothing fancy about that. Hey. Well done by Reed Pullum. May have to put double coverage on that man <laughs> right there. Yeah. Might want to think about it. Two minutes coming up on two minutes, folks. They slowly move. They're going to go too wide to the right this time, one of the near side. And watch the little cross route here over the middle. They like to do that as well. Pete, the quarterback. TJC, no hurry. They just got to get a field goal is all they're looking for. All right. Play action to the right side. Went Pass downfield. Oh, my goodness. Did he intercept it? No. No, he did not. No. Oh, my goodness, what a play. Woo. He read that from far across the field. That was Davion Scott right there. Yeah, he tried to come get it. Boy, that would have been a big one right there if he got his hands on it. He had, to, out of bounds. he had the beat drawn on it. That was nerves up for both sides. Yeah, here. man. Yeah, I didn't got, I didn't got quiet. I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, man. We're going to start bringing us some Snickers up here. Carters have Ham Hamptons down for the Cardinals. Oh, my. Man. All right, we're going to take an injury timeout on the field. and. Guys, man, it, it, I can't express to you how on edge I am right now. <laughs> this is just a, a slug out right here. Yeah, man. Slug fest, slug out, but whatever you want to call it, man, it's a good ball game going on. And Trinity Valley and TJC just refuse to break. Uh, a lot of costly turnovers in the red zone for the Cardinals tonight, three of a matter of fact. That takes points off the board. So they've kind of shot themselves in the foot a little bit, the Cardinals did with the turnovers. But – the game's not over yet, but it's getting close. And, right. and like Benny jinxed us earlier when he said about halftime, I mean about <laughs> overtime. Yeah. Well, we, Hampton, we, we may go to overtime. Well, Hampton was able to get up and <laughs> run off the field, Joy, so he's good. Of course, if you're the Cardinals, you would take overtime at this point considering TJC's yeah. got the ball. Right. Exactly, and, and this would be the first overtime ever for the Cardinal Sports Network. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> More history <laughs> made. History, man. That's, that's a reach, but it's, yeah. but it's, but, but, but it's, but it's accurate. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. 143 remaining in the fourth, 17 apiece. TJC Trinity Valley. Both top three teams. Go. And there goes Pete Woo. calling his own number again. He's got room to run. Shaking and baking. Woo. That young man's a real deal, folks. Woo. He's a real deal. He's great be play. Yeah, marked great down play. at the, we're going to call it the 49 yard line. You gotta, did, you know, did he get out of bounds? If he did, that would stop the clock. Well, the line judge. Did not signal he was out of bounds. He he rolled his. I guess they're going to say he was, though. Well, I'll tell you what. They trying to get a field goal position. It's a heads up play, though. Pete, the quarterback, got to watch his slant right here. Yes, sir. Pete looks right, go. fakes the run, and then throws it deep that's downfield. That's got to be picked. That's got to oh, oh. oh, And be, that is going to be incomplete. They must have look back and see that ball. Man on mercy. I just knew that was picked off there. Yeah, Pete threw an ill-advised pass. But I thought the, the, the Cardinals outside defender, I thought he had, a, had, had yeah. saw the ball coming. I thought he was going to break for it. Well, he, you know, I, I don't know I think what the look lights up. look like down on the field, but he could have lost it in the lights. Yeah, or could have. Could have. Woo. Davion Scott again playing that center field position at safety. <laughs> what do you think TGC needs to get to being real, real realistic field goal position? I think they need to be at the 35-yard line, maybe the 32 Pete running for his oh. life. He's got some run, room to run. First down and oh, more. Oh, no. Pete inside the 30, and oh, my. Oh, goodness. Yeah, the Cardinals may be in a little trouble now. Yep. Well, the clock's going to keep churning here after they set the chains. Yeah, right now, you just got the handoff two or three times. And well, I Run think the they, clock I, down. I still think they'd like to get in, like yeah, to get in the you, end zone, but I think they'd like to get it to the 20 probably. You need to – there's the well, – there's gonna be Lee there, on the handoff. He's going to be pretty quick. He's going to get it closer. Yeah. This is not looking good. Not looking good. I will remind everybody, Trinity Valley has blocked a field goal in, here in the fourth quarter already. And TJC <laughs> did miss a field goal when his time was expiring a year ago at Rose Stadium to lose to the Cardinals 28-27. to Of course, they would not lose in this situation. I'm not suggesting that. Yeah, seven, man, 17-17, 44-point. Mm. Well, 52 seconds left. Whew. I, yeah. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> well. 
Quarterback so Cardinal. Cardinals have two timeouts left. TJ, who, who called that timeout? Because I don't think they've changed that on the scoreboard. I want to say the Cardinals did. And I would think they probably did to buy some time. Yeah. So they down should be down to one one timeout if the Cardinals called that timeout. And they had to call one early in the second half. Remember, didn't they? Yes. Yeah, they did. Well, I tell you, Pete slipped his way on down at that time. Oh, and the young man's mature beyond his years. But he plays a position well for TJC. They're in a good position at quarterback for the rest of this season. So it'll be second down. We're going to call it four yards to go for TJC. 52 seconds remaining in this one, a nail biter. Let's see what it's TJC punch, does. This is punch to the gut if you're the Cardinals and you lose a game like this, though, man. Oh, yeah. It's hurt. It's yeah, hurt. it is, especially with three turnovers in the end zone. There's Lee on the run. He has the first down. And, man, that, that might. Well, here's the thing about it. The Cardinals are down to – they are down to one timeout. Even if they use your timeout yeah. here, TJC can run out the – run it down to – you're not going to accomplish anything here. This is what I'm trying no. to say. Not doing a good job of saying it. There's a snap. Another handoff to Lee. And – Trying to get the ball worked to the middle of the yeah, field. It's going to come down to a field goal. I mean, you got to yep. you're going to make the kick. You're going to make the block. That's what it's up to, comes down to. That was Davion Scott on the tackle there for the Cardinals. Second down and eight to go. They're bringing it all the way down. Yeah, they're, they're going to milk this it. one down. They're not going to they're not going to snap the ball again until the field goal. They're probably running. The ball down is spotted about. at the 13 yard line, so it's going to be about a 30 yard field goal attempt. And they can call timeout here with about one second left on the clock. Yep. They're going to call it now with four seconds left. We've got a 30-yard field goal attempt, Joey. Woo! Well, here we, we go. It, we blocked it before. We can block it again. Let's see. The big three Cardinals, you want to be careful. Not, I mean, not jumping off sides is not going to do much except to give it another kick. But you'd have, to, you'd have to jump off sides, block it, and then get it wiped out by the penalty. Yeah. Christian Baxter will come on. Everybody was away from the kicker that time. They, they nobody <laughs> talking to him at all. He was by himself. Lonely <laughs> feeling. Yep. Really? Very lonely feeling. Thirty yards from directly in from, from the goal post. This should not be much of an challenge for him if, as long as the, it's a good snap and a good hold. Well, we've seen he's got a very strong leg tonight. The stadium starts the, to the shake. Yeah, the second it. Probably going to call a timeout. Try to ice the kicker right here. It's a good timeout utilized by the Cardinals with four seconds remaining. It shows 3.9 on the Cardinal Sports Network screen scoreboard. Yeah, man. Yeah, he just signaled that was the last timeout for the Cardinals. Yep. Like you said, man, these, these type games right here hurt if you lose. Yeah, they do. Because you know, because you can go back and you can use five, Pinpoint so right. many plays it cost you the ball game. You yeah. turned the ball over three times in the red zone. Right. Uh, yeah. And, and wow. Which I realize you offset two of those by turning them over twice in the red zone. And right. But still, that, that one's the difference if you think about it. Yes. Each time the Cardinals have done it, the TJC has, has turned it into points. Right. Here we Baxter. go. Try from 30. Cardinals need a block right here. Kick is up. And it's a walk-off kick for TJC, and they're going to win the ball game. Woo. That's two in a row for TJC, and congratulations to them. And, man, the Cardinals. Yeah, this is a happy win for them. Right yeah, there. and you can't really say that the Cardinals didn't have their opportunities tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, Coach is trying to say stay on your side. Coach, coach is trying to get, giving, his, uh, coach get the kids on the side. He's giving his kids some business out yeah, there. Yeah. Hats off to Tanner Jacobson, my goodness. Look yes. at him. Look at him. This guy's all up in their face over here. Yeah, that's just uncalled for. Yeah. Get on to the other side, buddy. Yeah, but credit to the TJC coaches, though. They, they recognize what was going on, and they got their kids back. Cardinals have got to keep their cool. There's more, a lot more season left. This does not make or break either team's season right here tonight. Yeah, and you hate to see that, you know, right after. And Coach Poe doing a good job, yeah. too, with keeping his players in right. check. And I think they're going to bypass the yeah. end of the game handshake. Yeah, well, they, 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 they may go right they down in, to though. the – I'm not sure what's going on, but well, let's get back to the game. It was a, yeah, great, it was a, it was a great game. The Cardinals just turned the ball over too many times in the red zone. 
to lose 20 to 17 to drop to two and one on the season. I'm thinking of what we've seen in three weeks, fellas. We saw the Cardinals knock off the number four team in the nation, and we've seen the Cardinals as the number five team get knocked off tonight here at Bruce Field. Yeah, you know, and it could have went either way uh, yeah. tonight. It didn't go the Cardinals' way tonight. There's more games to be played, and make no bones about it, the Cardinals are a top-notch junior college football team, and I expect them to be in the playoffs at the end of the year. But this is a tough conference. No matter who you play, week in and week out. Going unscathed like the Cardinals did last year is very rare. It is. It it's is very, very rare. rare. Well, folks, the Cardinals will be at home next Saturday night to play take on an undefeated Cisco team. At a 7 p.m. kickoff here at Bruce Field, we'll have that for you here on the Cardinal Sports Network. We'll hit your screen about 6.45 a, uh, p.m., not a.m. I'm not going to make Joey and Marcus get up that, <laughs> yeah, get up that early. <laughs> but we appreciate you for joining us tonight on the Cardinal Sports Network. And, folks, I hope you enjoyed tonight's uh, webcast, but I hope you recognize the great talent of our cameramen and our producers and our directors tonight and what they brought to you, the, uh, the product they brought, because I was just amazed as I watched it on our oh, monitors tonight. It blew me away. It will continue to blow me away. We thank you for joining us here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Good luck to our friends over at Tyler the rest of the season. We hope we'll see you in the playoffs. Until next Saturday night, this is Benny Rogers bidding you good night from Bruce Field in Athens, Texas. So long. Later. This has been a special presentation of the Cardinal Sports Network.